Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. And uh, thank you for joining us. This is uh, Zero Page Homebrew where we play new games on classic consoles. And we do have a very new game today. I'm Ooh. James and this is Erlen. Hey guys. Joining you every Wednesday and Friday, but he's here on Wednesdays. And uh, yeah, we have... A world premiere today! Oh shit! Oh yeah, are you guys ready for it? It's what's the, uh, what's Ninjish the... guy. Like ninja? Ninjish. Because he's a tiny little ninja. That's good. Yes, it's by VHZC. What else is uh, VH? Wow. Okay. Once I tell you, you'll be like, <laughs> oh, that guy. Um, he did Night Guy in Low Res World. Yeah, yeah. The platformer. Um, he did... Peril as well. I don't know if we played that. No Your helicopter I, going he... through uh, mazes that oh. have obstacles and stuff. And you have to shoot. Things. It sounds so similar to something I have played, but it's or possible. Possible. Well, did he do the one with uh, the roach in space? Yep. Roach okay, in I know space this guy. guy. Yeah, and, and he's sometimes on chat, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And um, so all of those are work in progress. He's got four games going Jesus. at once. Jesus. Um, and I, they all kind of use the similar engine, but approach it in a different way. I like his games a lot. He's got a oh really... God. He also has a distinct kind of voice. I'm starting to realize like the very. voice of the game designers, they sort of have a vibe, which yeah. is very, very cool. He, his is... It's a platformer, and every level is completely unique. Totally. Like everything. Even the Roach in Space where it's a shooter. Every wave of like bad guys that you're shooting... They all move differently. They all look different. They all react differently. Like he does have this very unique voice, and I I love it. It's it's wonderful. Um, we're also going to be playing Project uh, Z. Mm. Uh, it's an American made it, so I'm going to pronounce it American. Uh, up here, it'd be called Project Z, but it's it's an American game <laughs> by F Z Z Potato yeah. Potato Tomato Tomato Fothlier Drag. How would you say that? Oh, uh, uh, Fothlar Draw. <laughs> Fothlar Draw. I just kind of like a Fothlar It sounds more... Uh, you know. Yeah, it sounds like something out of a uh, fantasy. It's like a Viking guy with a yeah. sword slaying somebody. American Z. Yes, Retro Happy Hour. Uh, we also That's playing right. Jupiter Sumo. Uh, by Philip Lindy, a.k.a. Boom Lindy, and that's a two-player game. Cool. So we'll be finishing off with a two-player game. We'll go head-to-head. -head. Oh, God. Okay, who, we'll do it. We'll do see it. See who dominates. We'll see what kind of game it is. It's yeah. always hard to know. Uh, let's see who's in the chat, who have hey. joined us. Oh, Dino just snuck in. Uh, Retro Happy Hour, S. Ramirez, Oof. Impaler 26, Mallard Season, Mr. Fix, Dan AVC, uh, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta. Uh, Thrust, Thrust 26 is here as well. and Damn, there's a lot of people. This is great. A lot of people coming in for the uh, debut of this new game, which is always exciting because it is unreleased. It hasn't been put out. Yeah. Carl G just snuck in as well. Yeah, hey, hey, Maylord season. I realize you just said hi to me in the chat. Oh, right back. there you go. Yeah. It's Erlen. Hi, Erlen. Yeah. It's so good. <laughs> it's got some personalized greets. It's a good feeling that people know who I am. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Oh, Proto Man K's there. Proto Man. Welcome. I think that's a new. Nice name. to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you as well. Yeah, nice what to meet What brought you to Zero Page, if you don't mind telling us? Yeah. And I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, uh, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, Retro Happy Hour just re upped, and he's at six months which gives him a golden Z yeah, you in were, the chat. You were just talking about how sometimes when people on Twitch streams subscribe, there's like explosions and rainbows and all this stuff. Yeah. And it's not something that we have here yet. Not yet. <laughs> so we will have that in the future, I think, but not quite yet. Um, yeah, we, we only have a few subscribers, yeah. but they are loyal. They're, they are there are loyal. people, man. There we go, Retro Happy Hour. And he's a nice golden Z. Golden Z. Uh, it's been earned. Golden Z. I made it. Canadian. That's right. <laughs> uh, RC70 and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. See, it's definitely Z because in Canada, like at the end of the ABCs, uh, it's got it. Z is just a final. It feels like it's the end <laughs> of something. Versus Z is like, oh, there could be going. more ones. Z. You just start back at the beginning. Yeah, it just repeats. That's why it's Z. It ends it. It's the, it's the final letter of the alphabet. Very definitive. Period after Z. Um, so we don't have any... Oh, I, I do have something to open, actually. Yeah, you. It's right behind you. Go. It's like literally right behind you, yeah. Uh, so we have mail. And there's... Where's my scissors? There okay, they are. Okay, cool. 
Ooh. Um, so it's is this a, a tube? It is say, a poster type. Yeah, you got thing. it. You got it in one. It is a poster. Um, because behind me we have one poster already. It's a Galaga poster. Um, but there's some spaces here, some empty spaces that I thought, oh, you Ooh. know what? I could fill those up. Yeah, man. But this is kind of the set, right? It's it's part of the it's part of the thing. It is. You have to you know. Create the atmosphere. Do some set deck. I like, he says it's the third time I get into the love stream. And then he <laughs> love corrects stream. it as live stream. It's my love favorite typo works. of all time. This you know, is I love one. it when typos Welcome to the totally love stream. We, we play some homebrew game. Get too. close to the microphone. You're at the love stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Ex happy exactly. And he's from Brazil. That's crazy. Oh, welcome. Yeah, Brazil and his software a... development. Oh, sweet. Brazil has a pretty, uh, pretty decent Atari Twenty Six Hundred um, community yeah. for programming. So, here we go. I do. I did get the frames the other day. Oh wow, this looks really good, man. So that's one of the posters, and this is the actual um, sketches from the patent. For the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, when they went man. to patent the design of the Twenty Six Hundred, this is February twentieth, nineteen seventy nine. Yeah, yeah. Very. So they, so it was released before it was patented. Am I, am I crazy? That is, uh, that is funny. Yeah, but it's, but it's, that's the thing. Maybe they. Uh, that's like, kind of weird that they patented it after. Well, it pro. I mean, maybe they didn't have that's any risky. idea what was on their hands, and then they... maybe. But this is like those are the actual dates. I looked these up because I didn't yeah. want to buy something that was like fake or like, it's oh, like somebody an, just an made edison it. would snipe it, it man they're like we gotta we gotta dodge this and i got this one as a second one and this oh, is their patent man. on their cartridge design for the atari 2600 this is an exploded view of it wow and uh that looks kind of like it's at an angle so they this is not the final design it was very straight yeah yeah it. so these are gonna go up one here one over there and i also bought um, T-shirts with these on it as well. Damn! So those okay, have that's come in very yet. cool. Mm -hmm. I like those kind of like black and white style sketches. Yeah, um, really, really nice. My, I grew up in in Scotland actually. Ah, patent pending. Oh. So they could have um, designed this well beforehand, like in 1976 or 75. Oh, cool! And put patent pending on it, and these are the final. I guess when it was approved. Makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. Thanks, Thanks RC70. RC70. Yeah, that explains it because that would be really risky. Oh, so risky, man. Oh, it's sort of falling down. Oh, no. Yeah. It's tightness. It's pretty tight already. Yeah, it's, just been, it's just been so used over the years. Yeah, because I take this it down a, every time. It's a slightly heavier microphone that you have here, too. Um, That's true. The shotgun is much, small, much shorter. Yeah. Oh, Arena Foot has hey. joined us. Uh, he's at Macy's shopping for his daughter's graduation, graduation dress. dress. Well, what congratulations a, which graduation are we talking? Like uh, middle school, high school, university? Yeah, yeah. Um, congratulations is a big day, man. Yeah, that is. So I guess that would be... Uh, pretty soon the yeah. graduation would oh be. yeah because um, it's may so it could be, be it could i be bet june. it's high school that's yeah. my bad it sounds high like, school there you said yeah, yeah that makes more that's sense. a huge day man it is it's a long haul to get through all those grades and then be done and there's a lot of people who don't graduate high school i mean it's actually yeah. it's a real thing it is yeah and <laughs> it's, it's it's not good but since it's free so you should get you should, through you it you should get it done and it sets you up for life and mm -hmm. it's also got to be emotional because it's like your daughter man she's growing up and it's yeah, a crazy thing too that's true and that's usually the age that some some people move out yeah not a lot nowadays because it's really expensive to to move out and yeah when did you move out um i went to university in calgary because calgary. i lived in i lived in the vancouver area before so i i actually lived at my grandparents in Calgary and then I came back and lived with my parents for a bit longer yeah so it I was 24 yeah when I moved out yeah that's and, and that's it wasn't a... and I was fine living at home there was no conflict because a lot of people have conflict and they're like I want to get out here get out of yeah. here as soon as possible um what what age did I you... wasn't I was um 18 I moved... you're like I'm out of here yeah well I, <laughs> wanted, I wanted to move to Vancouver I really uh... wanted to I wanted to get away it was not the greatest experience <laughs> yeah. it was just broken family and we were moving around a lot and it was uh... just it was just a it wasn't like it was no it was no one individually but it was just a thing where I was like okay and also I wanted to make films and the reality is is in Edmonton 
There's Ooh, no, there's there, tough. there is a decent film scene, but there's Isn't nowhere there a to study. Film scene oh yeah, in Edmonton? and there's a lot of they have called prairie films. Which <laughs> is people, a lot of Just magic two, hour two shots, hour, two of, hours of flat land. That's right, and and horses slowly walking by Pretty, on, on the on the horizon. Lots of weed at magic hour is the joke, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, yeah. but I just moved out here because I wanted to um do all this stuff. Yeah. Well, this is this is the place. Yeah. I mean, Hollywood gets made here. And in turn, there's a lot of cast off, like all the support structure is here. So they want to make independent totally. films too. So it's a really good. And there's like five schools you can pick from to oh, study filmmaking. And de decent schools. Yeah, some oh. of them are. Yeah. <laughs> some of them are like yeah. too expensive and you don't get what enough. What did you study in university? I didn't. I didn't... Oh, I studied um, computer science. Computer science Which makes. Which is not a far stretch. Makes complete sense, man. Yeah. So, you know, I took programming and uh, logic. Do you use a lot of those skills um, still today? Or... I mean, they're really helpful, like just in general, having general knowledge. Um, but I, I dropped out because it was, it was more uh, theoretical. Yeah, that's kind of university. And I wanted it more practical. Yeah, so that I just, I just went and did practical things in jobs. Like, yeah. Uh, technical support and, you know, building computers and, and things like that, so... Yeah, it worked out, so... Yeah. Yeah. It, it did help me quite a bit, that's for sure. Uh, at Erlen, tell your daughter congratulations. congratulations. Your daughter? No, it's Rena's <laughs> daughter, but I'll, 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 take I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll go through. And uh, Emu Dan, welcome. Oh, uh, he says I have the goblet of Starbucks. You this do. Is, this is actually from... Um, a, it looks like one. It looks like one. It's called. It's the it? Commercial Drive Coffee Company. Where's that one? Um, it's this place just like near my house. Oh, um, okay. Which so is it's a, an indie place. Yeah. No worries. Oh, a tasty sandwich. Has... Although I have no issue with Starbucks. Starbucks is delicious and amazing. It's just Very like... Very consistent. Yeah. Every time you know what you're getting. I don't like their like super fruity crazy drinks with like ice oh, cream yeah, yeah. on it. It's <laughs> basically <laughs> like... That's how I feel. It's You're basically putting ice cream in your drinks and um, yes you literally are like they're <laughs> full of calories and sprinkles and, and I, I you know i it's good every once in a while it's like having dessert it is yeah it's too much versus... so um yeah there's no news no big news which is fine so we're Tasty gonna sandwich jump right into it oh let's do it so here is Oof. the control stick i'm ready and where's my remote? It's probably buried under all this stuff. Oh, the love it. stream. That's too the good. That's so funny. Funny. I don't have the voice for a love stream, though. Yeah, you have to have a, a really low resonating you're, voice. You're closer to the love stream pretend. voice. You can pull it off. Yeah. Which one are we doing first? Um, Ninjish Guy. Ninjish. World premiere of Ninjish Guy. Holy shit, so this, this is, is exciting, man. This and is... this build is from today. Whew. This is fresh. Um, he has not posted this. This is not available anywhere right now. We are the first people to play it, other than him. So wow. thank you, VHZC, oh, for uh, allowing us to do this. Um, yep, yeah. so this is made by Vladimir Zuniga, a.k.a. John Von Neumann, a.k.a. VHZC. He's got two pseudonyms. Um, wow. And this was first posted April 23rd, 2019 on Facebook. Cool. Um, he has not made a thread in Atari Age forums, so if you want to follow along, you have to go to a bunch of forums on, uh, let's see, at the Atari 2600 Homebrew for, um, group sorry, on Facebook if you want to kind of follow along. And I think he posts on um, Atari Age uh, group as well, so let's load that let's up. Let's do it. And yeah, coffee at Starbucks does cost $5. <laughs> Except for a regular yeah. one. That's true. You can get it pretty cheap. Yeah, if you just get regular. Like the Pike Place is the good one, in my opinion. Not to push anyone. There you go. There's ninja the guy. Screen. Ooh, a little ninja guy there. Uh, this uh, this is a 32k game. Oh, S. Ramirez 2008 just upped. Hey, dude. So Resubscribe oh, for that's two amazing. months. Thank you so much, S. Ramirez. You're awesome for supporting the show. Uh, this build is from May 8th today. He just sent it to me this morning. Uh, other games he's made, Roach in Space. That's right. Uh, Happy 19, 2019 demo, um, which I believe we played on the show as well for New Year's. Really? So and little then... explosions. Night Guy and Night Guy and Low Res World, Ninjish Guy, and Peril as well. We played every single game on the show because they're all awesome. 
And there is no binary for this yet, so you will have to wait. I think he's waiting for a little while till it's completely done up and... We're so lucky then, man. God yeah. damn, that's great. Very, very lucky. So... Should we jump in? I think so. It's pretty self-explanatory. There is no instructions yet. But that's cool. Like this is this is this fresh. is true Atari it's, gaming right yeah, here. This is like work in progress, you know? super fresh. In the eighties there wasn't instructions. You just <laughs> well, plugged it in and played. There was, but I didn't <laughs> I didn't have any because I just bought I just got them second yeah. hand. So I never knew how to play any of the games. Yeah. <laughs> the just, most famous example is the E. T. game without instructions. Oh, yeah, you fail. You it's die just, and you hate it. But if you have instructions, you're like, okay, this is not a bad adventure okay, game. Okay, it's... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so jump into it. Um, I will let you know that the button is jump. Whoa! There is no firing. There's no bullet. Oh, this is moving nice and smooth, man. Oh, yeah. Ooh. And watch him as he comes in. Holy Lightning shit. Lightning bolt. That's amazing. And you can kill um, enemies by jumping on their head. I don't feel like this is a killable... I no, feel like no, this is no, not. No, no, this no. is definitely on. Uh, other um, ninja enemies. Whoa. Okay. Oh shit. Oh Oof, shit. That was close. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. You're doing good. And there's another move. Pressing down and a direction. You Whoa. You slide like Mega Man. I'm gonna slide. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. There you go. Ah, <laughs> thank you, yeah. James. Is at the perfect time. <laughs> it is. That's when you use it. That was when we needed it. Okay. Whoa. It's so awesome. This reminds me a lot of Night Guy in Low Res World, but like it's the awesome. next level. Like, yeah. Is this a clone of me? Yep. Ah, oh, oh. I was trying to jump on my head. There you go. There you go. Take that. And it opens up a new doorway. Uh, there's no. Oh, no. oh wow. <laughs> why was it I thinking? Destroys everything I was such an path. idiot. I was like, ah, it's all it's easy. Okay, so it's like when it runs, I like to fall through. No. James hates Reactor, but also hasn't read instructions or watched the arcade game. There you go. See, you have to watch. You have to read the instructions to understand some oh, game. Man. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that meteor coming Whoa. down. Whoa! Ah. Really detailed ah. meteor. It's huge. Okay. Um, the first post about oh, this. Oh God. Yeah, since, since Roach in Space is practically finished, I will release a new possible beta, final come beta on, this weekend. Come on, come oh, oh, oh. on. Okay, I think we made it. Yesterday I started oh, to code God. a new game. This uses a modified Whoa. version of the engine I wrote for Night Guy. Yeah, don't get smushed by that. Um, I'm trying to think of this timing here, man. Because you have to avoid two things at once. There you go. You got it. <sighs> Rope. Does that seem like a rope? Yep. Come on. Yes! Okay, I gotta kill this guy, right? Yep. I'm not so good with my jump there timing. There you go. There you go. Oof. Did it. Oof. Okay. Look at that big... Holy shit. I... Stomper. This is amazing, dude. Yeah. Like, huge sprites. Ah. Huge moving animations in the game. Oh my god. Skulls. Not too bad. They're yeah. not going around. Something. Yeah, some 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 levels are easier than what is going on. <laughs> Holy shit! Lava doors. Ah. Okay, we got only one option. It's to scream and run through. <laughs> yes. This thing's following There's me up block. top, man. That's crazy. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know how that's gonna play into this. I don't but think it's, it does. It's just a bonus. It's gonna start pursuing me, maybe. Oh, maybe something will open up. Ooh, that's scary. Oh shit! <laughs> just a little bonus thing. That's up, super up, cool. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, no. I should have pushed. I was being yeah. an idiot. But it is a small platform. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure about the timing yet. Okay, 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 lava. Okay. Ooh, it's following me. It's like eyes. It's like the paintings <laughs> that, like, yes. stare at you as you... It is. Look at that. Okay, come on, buddy. Oof. Yeah, it's got to be precise. Oh, look at that lightning. It's so awesome. Wow. Oh, God. Dark Whoa. Level. Oh, when you jump, you can... Oh, no, it goes off and on. That's badass. Dude, he has so many ideas. They're amazing. Like every level Like, every is a new unique. idea. I love it so much. There's no repetition yep. so far at all. Yep. The amount of work that goes into every screen in, in, the, in his games is just unreal. Oh, God. Um, do I jump on this guy? I don't know. I'd wait for a pattern. He's... Oh, no, it's no pattern. I feel he like came I got... down and went back. I feel like I gotta jump on him. There's no way out. Do you know what I mean? This feels like a boss. Oh, this is a boss. There's no escape. Yeah, I think I just jump on his head. But I bet he takes more than one hit. So you have to find a plan of escape, too. 
So can you jump down and back up, or is that too high? I think. I that... think you could jump back up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Ah! Jump back up. Failure. Nope. Oh, oh you got him, I think. Oh, that's how you do it. Just stay there. Oh uh, no! Ooh. What the hell? Did you hit his side? I think so. Um, I feel like jumping on his head is the right idea. We're gonna try this again, friends. We'll try this once more. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. you hit him once. Here you go, James. Dive in. You made it to the first boss. S. Ramirez says, take my money. Yeah, dude, this is crazy. Just one suggestion. Maybe make the lives from hearts to shuriken or something ninja related. You, you, it's true. You're a thousand percent but right. this guy doesn't have shuriken. That's so right. it might be misleading thinking that, oh, where's my weapon? The heart is universal. It is. And it's, it's like, and it's, it's it, life. It's, it's an icon. It's like everybody knows that it means. It's a little jittery on the way up, but nothing wrong but with it's that. It's a rough ride. <laughs> <laughs> I love the lightning. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. I oh, see so you have an advantage because you got to watch me. Oh, Not... I played it a bit. Oh, you did? Okay. Because <laughs> I, I have to make sure it works on the my system. Not that there's anything wrong with having an advantage because, you know, yeah. I don't think, like, we, like, we've never beat Night Guy in Low Red's world. Oh, no. This is a goal of ours. This we've tried hard... to. These are hard games. We've tried to do it, like, so many times. We've tried to beat <laughs> it, and, like, we can't do it. We, we, we get stuck at a certain point. It's one for the marathon. Yeah. It's just hard to sometimes beat games in, like, the three hour show. Because it's not even three hours. Like, it's, like, no. it's really, like, an hour a game, and there's just some games that you just can't beat. Which is. Which is good. They should yeah. be super easy. I remember one was oh the stacks. God. Do you remember that one? I was like, there's oh no way we God. can beat this in the show. No. That's so hard, too. It is really That was hard. one of the most complete games I've seen of Homebrew. Um, a, a complete the wrong word. Expansive is Expansive. what I was looking for. Yeah. That will have to be on the marathon, too. Yeah. Skulls? Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly um, tricky. Hey, oh, he's watching us play. Oh, is he here? You made yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, game's amazing so far. Unbelievable detail and uh, imagination on each of the levels. Lightning bolts. This is beautiful. And it darkens. It did that. He did that in peril. Yeah. When there was a, a lightning bolt level. Like, because it's, it's you know what it's emulating? It's emulating auto-adjusting cameras. Yeah. Or, or your eyes, too. Where that's so bright, everything else darkens. That's right. In order it's to just see it, super smart it's a detail. Little right? brush stroke, man. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, good dodge. Oh, I hate dark. I hate dark levels. I think it's cool. I love the idea. But this one's not too bad because it goes on and off. I, but but I mean, it's just it's amazing that throwing all these like these very like classic yet innovative ideas. So you got to jump on his head and somehow not die. This is yeah. the goal. I don't know how you do it. I failed. Yeah, see, there you go. There you go. It's a timing thing, right? Yeah. That's two. Because I did well. Problem, what? see, it's... you would be right on his head. Exactly. Oh, there, ooh, two. Ooh, good work. Okay, you're way far. That's so awesome. The ladder drops it down? Feels, it feels like a chapter's closing, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, are we going to get some health back? No. Ooh, oh, a key. key. God damn. But I can't get that key. Hmm. Oh, I bet I have to go around or open a door. Oh, or just climb up this thing and see. Does this wrap around? I wow. guess I come back. Oh, now you're going to the left. That's badass. Oh, wow. Every This is like every game, for whatever reason, you always go to the right. There's just like that weird... It's, a, it's like the Mario thing. It's like, yeah. imagine Mario going to the left. You're like, what? And that is also a thing in film as well. Do you know that? Um, obviously you would, um, that most films progress from left to right. And that's I right. think that's harkens back to the way we read as a uh, Western that's right. civilization. And why it's cool to watch like Korean and, oh um, uh, Japanese and Chinese films because the, the, it's read the opposite way. Yes. So it's like a different feeling of, and framing is very different in those, in those movies. Oh, it must've just come up. Password continue? No, I don't think so. <laughs> what are we doing? Skip six HP in this guy? Oh, it must be cumulative then? 
Uh, no, the levels are not random. Yeah, you, um, oh, you can do another one. Yeah? You, yeah, do another one. Cause you'll, you're much better at these games. I'd love to see how far we can go. I'll, I'll do a... So I'll, I'll let you um, I can read, it, read progress here. For sure. So there's the first post. Okay, cool. Okay, so um, uh, since a roach in space is practically finished, I will release a new, possibly final beta this weekend or so. Yesterday, I started to code a new game. This uses a, a modified version of the engine I wrote for Night Guy, but without weapons, a more purist platform approach. <laughs> it's a thousand percent what you did. Yeah. Um, and then um, uh, uh, he's got a post, and it says, uh, Making some progress in my game. Somebody told me uh, the sprite looks like a ninja, and I think he is right. So there is a new tentative name, Ninjish Guy in Low Res World. Yes, it's kind of a sequel to Night Guy, so I can reuse some sprites and it's okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's right, same I mean, world. It's an extraordinary amount of work you've done to design all this stuff. I mean, I'm so into you going back and, and kind of using some of this stuff. Because, the same engine. Because you, right. you're... you're you're constantly doing new things with uh, w with your design. I mean, I'm so down for you to kind of continue that. Um, oh, yeah. The, the engine was nothing wrong with the engine, no. so it's awesome. And it's great. running so smooth. Ugh. So smooth for a it platformer. Is. I'm a big fan of how... Because that's the thing. There's a oh lot of uh, 2600 homebrew platformers that are just clunky in really terms of their... like. Um, uh, they're, they're platforming. Because yeah. I think with platforming, you've got to feel like there's a fluid motion, you know? And if it's not, it's very frustrating. Because it feels yes. like, oh, fighting the game is part of, like... What was the game we were playing yeah. that was, like, the for the challenge last week? It was so oh, hard. Oh, my God. Minor 2049. Or yeah. That was released by a studio. Like, a proper full release. But this is so smooth. Like, everything feels natural. Like, yeah. modern sensibilities. Imagine Minor uh, like, that, with, like, this the... fluidity. It'd be a oh, completely be different game. The, I mean, that's where the game almost, like, the... the you're fighting with the controls was almost part of the game. It was. It was which terrible. Is, which like, is cool, but... Everything makes sense in this. Like, oh, yeah, I know the, the language of this game. I already understand. Yeah, you can guide yourself as you fall, which is... I find that's a big deal with some uh, 2600 platformers. You're sort of stuck with, like, whatever jump you like jump and you, it's like so you can't even jump that high it's like the tiniest little leap <laughs> yes. and you're like oh god damn it <laughs> um uh she said i haven't defined the exact story of the game but i am between a heist infiltration or jailbreak um and this game uh will be uh 32k so I plan to make it at least twice as long as Night Guy, which has 23 screens. Wow. So, wow. So, <laughs> a lot of screens. What's that, 46 screens? It's That's awesome. huge game. Well, I can tell because the it's a little bit easier in terms of screen to screen to screen. Night Guy is a lot more challenging from, from yes. bit to bit. But um, uh, I like that because you don't have any fighting, so there's having more screens is a great thing because you can kind of rush through it a bit quicker. But it's yeah. not easy. I would not I would not define it as easy, but I'd define it as fast. Yes. You know, it's not... This, there's some screens on a Night Guy in Low Res World where you fuck around for, like, quite a while just to get through one screen. <laughs> yes. Like, here, you can just kind of rush through and... You know, it's not it's not easy, but it's fast. Like you can definitely almost speed run this game really. You could, yeah. Really seamlessly, it feels like a speed running type game. Because um, there's some games you just like would never want to speed run because they're just they're not they don't feel <laughs> that way. They're just clunky. Yeah. Um, I want to add the typical things you find in another system's platformers, but that are not common in the 2600. Multiple paths, different scenarios, some oh. secrets here and there. See, I'm a big fan of that. I love he's got some... I guarantee you there's this room has a secret. Yeah, like, I guarantee that, you. that little dot in the top thing. It's like, what is that doing there? Oh. Oh, he said, if you move the joystick down when you jump over the other ninjas, you have a wide oh. surface of contact and it's easier to kill them. Like this. Ah, oh, cool. He said, they like the eye in this level. Me too, man. Yeah, amazing. Um, she just said, by the way, I released the release candidate for a roach in space. Oh, yes. Yeah, he did yeah, just yeah. the other day. Or yesterday, I think it was. Yeah, oh, I'm a big fan. This is cool. This is, it's not an easy game, man. No, it's not. It's not. Throw the tablet down there. Keep drinking. Up. Yeah, especially for this yeah, guy. Yeah, That's yeah. where his tip probably helped a lot, man. It did. Okay, 
nice. So this is one where I think you'd revisit because the key is there and I think you drop down, it would open up and you'd get the key and then go back again through the same level. Cool. So multiple paths. And, the, and there's a shurikens we were, we were shurikens. talking about. I got that last time. Um, uh, the next one, it was the flaming one, which is just tough. Definitely, like, I'd say ramping up, right? It's a sort of rhythm. Oh, good! You can barely make it. You have to go right away. Oh, okay. Hmm. That looks very far. Yeah, <laughs> man. Uh, mm. go for it. See if you can make it. Oof. Ah, now you go back. Okay. Okay. Or should I go to that other side? No. <laughs> I'm guarantee you there's probably something. There's so many secrets, but... Oh, no. Oh, it's This isn't going as back. bad. No. It's harder going forward. Oh, no. I'm maybe not. No, because it's the same. Ooh. It's the same. It's just as hard. God damn, yeah. It's tough stuff. And we haven't gotten any health yet. No. Oh, because he had, he had hidden health in the other games. That's so right. And when you beat the I'm... boss, you would get health, too, I believe. Um, yes. It was the, the lion guy. You would totally get some health. See, okay. Now I can open that because I have the key. Oh, that's a door. You need Makes a key sense. It's Makes not a sense. Key. It's a door. It needs that key. Ooh. Oh, we're back to the end. I don't... Let's see. Yep. Oh, is that the... Is that... Did we loop it? We might have. Because it might be different this time see. around. No, no, so I think far. we... I think we... Because I guess he's just... He's still... He's still you beat work, the beta! This is still work in progress. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, true. Oh, shit, man. Okay, well... Are there any secrets that you want us to, to, to yeah, do? Yeah, is there I don't, a hidden secret? I'd that... love to... Maybe there's not, or maybe you don't reveal it, but if there's anything, we can show it off for the, for this, for the stream, if you'd like. Yeah, that's a good hint to be able to press down for oh. more surface area. No, you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if I can do it. It's not too bad. I think the hardest part was the boss. And those fire. Those fire things. <laughs> you lose. Okay, cool. Very nice playable beta. Yes. Dude, crazy. Some betas like have nothing that's going on with them. Yeah, this is... It really shows off what the game's going to be. And it's got all the controls in there already. And I think it shows Rough off every riding. type of move like you have that that's only used once that slide yeah because i could see there being like passageways where you have to use yeah it. so much better man this jump thing <laughs> yeah just jam it down oh it's so good it's so much better vh says see any plans to expand it to 64k mm, more levels more levels oh. no you, you can uh, it's like a complete game. Yeah, it's uh Well, it it's feels very like complete. it. It's just more. You just need more. That's more, the only thing. More of it and harder levels. Like, I'm sure it'll ramp up after that. I think where it is is pretty good for the beginning levels. But it definitely needs to ramp up a little bit more in the hardness. Oh, Whoa, wow. that was... I don't know that how... That was close. That was very close. Yeah, take that. Is that Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh no. God, right when you said it, man. Yeah, I know. That's how oh, it works. Oh, God. Never, like, never get cocky. I'm like, games. I'm doing so well, the James. The game will take away your lives if you get cocky. Oh, All this gosh. hard work, and then <laughs> just like, <laughs> beep, beep. You're doing so well. It's like, no. It's gotta never be. Never say a... that. I'm not so, I'm, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do so well with this jump, man. So he says, no, not really. I still didn't 16K with this, and all the mechanics are codes, and I have plenty of space with 32K. So he's got lots of room left for more rooms. I plan to have lots of screens. This is the first, just the first beta. Yeah, it was 46 or more. Yeah, so that's tons. Tons, tons of room. So much better with this down. 
Yeah, I think it just makes it, oh makes it a lot easier. There you go. Double Yay. catch. Oh god, I'm scared though. These fire <laughs> with these fire ones, man. Timing that's what's, is that's what's gonna fuck hard. me up. Yeah, timing is really. Hard. You gotta you gotta go there and back again. Yep. Sure can. It's not yeah, so this, bad. One's, this one's fine. This is like the skulls. <laughs> This one's a little more challenging, but not I too bad. I jumped in the dark. Yeah, I will jump in the dark. Again. Okay, so here you go. You have to go super quick. Yeah, yeah, anticipate it. Yeah, you did the right thing. Oh, you had plenty of time. There. It's a little harder on the way back. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ninja guy giveth, it taketh away. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Ah! Oh. I was getting excited. Yeah. I think you can do it. Oh, uh, we'll see, man. It's still... Got two lives. Quick. Oh, oh, you did it. Only a couple more screens. Come on. Back. I'm just... I'm gonna... Oh, adrenaline is... <laughs> is rolling. <laughs> see, this is where, like, knowing me, I'll just do something dumb. Uh, and just fall die. off a cliff. Just, like, this is where I'll, like... I'd be unable to make the jumps and just <laughs> that ladder animation so good. You did it! Ah, oh, okay, cool. There we go. Oh Five. man, we both crushed it. Awesome. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I think I felt stressed out too, man. The strength of VHZC's games is the fluidity yeah. of the movement of the characters and the controls. It, the controls are so perfect. It makes like, you so tight. They feel contemporary in, in yes. that way. Um, I think that's what really ages a game when you feel like you can't when any movement limitations, yeah. you immediately feel like, oh yeah, we're we're in retro land. Yes, um, this has the modern sensibilities of did something there. Kind of funny. Like there's a crazy um I've never played them, but have you ever heard of those games where there's like these crazy labyrinths you there jump through and then like when you die they'll play back all the versions. Yes. And it's a, quite a famous one. I think Super Meat Boy was one of yeah, the Yeah, that's the one I was ones. thinking of. And that was the one in that documentary. Yeah. Um I if ever anybody has not seen that documentary, oh uh, what is it called? Oh, you told me about it. It's like yeah, it's it follows three. Um, <laughs> Look at what happened. I know, so great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose. Um, he fixed it in a, another level, but I found another way to to do it on this level. That's so good. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Yeah, it follows three indie game. Indie or, game. Yeah, okay. I would have got it in the next second because it follows three independent <laughs> game yeah. uh, game developers. One of them is Super Meat Boy, which goes on to do super well. Hell yeah. But there's lots of drama because there's, like, uh, like they they cooperate with other people sometimes, and there's other people, you know, drop out, and but they're still tied to the game development. And definitely, if you've not... Indie Game the Movie, if you have not seen there it you and you're, you're um, watching the stream, definitely check it out. And, of course, I'm sure everybody's seen it, but the other big uh, video game documentary is... Uh, Fistful of quarters. Yeah. Um, what is uh, that? King of Kong. King of Kong. Fistful of quarters. That's the other yes. great one, man. Another one, uh, another one that's good is Snake as well. Yeah. It um, it kind of takes a lot of cues from King of Kong, but it it's very good in its own right. Yeah. It's this guy trying to beat the game uh, Snake, and but the game takes forever to to play, like to beat like, the world record. It just takes like. 14 hours or Jesus. but it's, it's one of those 14 hours on snake man It'd yeah be... if i was ever going to try and beat like a, a well a high standing record it would be for a game that does not take 12 hours yeah, it'd be like a never. two hour game some of them are like pinball and it's just outlasting the other person totally that did it before you it's like how long can you go for without passing out <laughs> that's it oh fez was the other one yes yeah, but, that's um, a really cool looking. But, but the reason why I brought the what is it, <gasps> Super Meat Boy? Is that the name? Super Meat Boy, yeah. Yeah, is and that? I bought that just recently. Is that some? That's a very contemporary in its movement. The fluidity of movement in that game yes. is so high. So good, and it's a, a retro look to it. it exactly, is, it's very pixelated, but it's got contemporary feel. So it's it is very reminiscent of this. Yeah, which is um, mm. uh, and, and that's I think the biggest leap forward for the feeling of a of a of a game. I remember um, one that we played, which I don't I'm not. Not gonna uh, say positive or negative, but I remember we played Zippy, 
And that yep. was one that was very frustrating because of the, the, the movement of it was, was I really yeah. struggled with. Which could have just, I mean, it's, it's totally part of the feature, I'm not going to come down on it. But, like, the thing is, is something like this, if, if Zippy had the controls and movement of this game, it'd be oh, night and so day. Oh, so much better. It'd be totally playable. Like, but Zippy, the controls, I find are so hard. Yeah, and the so problem is, is when you jumped, you're locked into it. There's no way to guide. Yeah. There's no movement. You couldn't really even jump that high. Um, so, yeah, man, it's just like, oh. Oh, we got some more little there glitches. You there you go. Some more things to fix for your VH that <laughs> I mean, it's pretty minor, but because it's only like here on this part, like it's not here. Oh, it's when you're on the ladder. Yeah. There you go. Man, the only thing I gotta say for you is just keep keep going, just keep programming. Give us some more levels if you're if you got yeah. time, and and thanks for making this game. This is really sweet. It's amazing. I'm I super love this into, games. and and like um and and yeah, n oh. the most playable beta ever. Oh yeah. Really, really well done. It, I, mean, I think it helps that he had an engine, and then it's just kind of tweaking it and making new levels. Well, it's it. great. I mean, we I would play a lot of these games. Hey, Milton Buddhist is here. Yay! Wait, how long have you guys been live? Uh, we have been live for 41 minutes, and you missed all of this game, so you'll have to rewind it in it's... Twitch or watch it tomorrow on YouTube. Yeah, man, sorry about that. Uptime. <laughs> Uptime. There we go. So there I am, riding the elevator. And that, that jumpy thing is fine. I don't think that needs fixing. Oh, no, whatever. Here you go. It's, it's, a, it's part of the, the, the character, the experience. Yeah. So we look forward to uh, that uh, being developed some more. A thousand percent, Of course, percent, the full man. game and trying to beat the full game, which is going to be, I'm sure, just as hard oh, yeah. as his other games. I mean, even I've just... Not, we haven't beat any of the other games. We haven't beat my, Peril. My chest we was beat beaten Guy. even just for this beta. Oh, yeah. So hold down the button. Got it. So now that I finished a roach, I will be uh, oh, going yeah, oh, full yeah. dedicated to this film. Yeah, man, please. Sorry, this <laughs> film. <laughs> this is, You're all in on this film. This is me uh -huh. and my brain. So we're going to move on to uh, game number two, which is Project Z or cool. Z, depending on where in the world you live. I'm launching it, but I won't yep. actually hit the, the thing. It's just, ooh. Go. Ooh. What's your favorite zombie movie, James? Um... I like Dawn of the Dead. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I really like the remake, even though people think it's it's not as good as the original. Um, I really liked um, Fido. Yeah, Fido. As well, that was fun. It was a Canadian film. That's uh, the like a low budget indie. That's kind the of film. the producer of that film was the guy I worked for for oh, for months. Oh, really? Yeah, I worked for his company for like eight oh, yeah, months. I think we talked about that before. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have to change the graphic. Um, I haven't seen too many zombies. Yeah. Films, so <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, technically, guess, it's a zombie, comes man. Back You're to thousand life. percent right. That's true. I love Twenty Eight Days Later. I love that yes. movie. That's one of yeah. my favorites. Nightmare yeah. on Elm Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He did die. He's a technically but zombie. He's later. He comes into reality, I think. But in the beginning, he's only in dreams. So I. Yeah. Don't think you can count him as a zombie. Passion of the Christ. Yeah. <laughs> this is right, man. The best zombie movie ever. I believe there was, a, <laughs> there was a complete breakdown on that, and they they actually turned him uh, termed him as a lich, the, uh, because there's very specific terminology for what is a zombie and what is different undead being resurrected. That's right. So yeah. Yeah, he's he's a peaceful zombie. <laughs> That's right. He's here for good. He doesn't. Yeah, bite, you doesn't know, he's people. spreading. He's still. He's a zombie who just wants love, man. <laughs> so this is Project Z from Fawful Drag, <laughs> um, FLB Games. You can see on the screen. Uh, this was uh, first posted uh, June 16, two thousand thirteen, and this build is from September thirteenth, two thousand thirteen. It is a thirty-two K game. It's the only game this guy's ever made. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. And he put it out on Friday the 13th. Speaking of movies. Yeah. Oh, and iZombie uh, films here, actually. I know so many yes. of my friends have been on that and show. And Tanya likes iZombie quite yeah. a bit. For me, it's it's too silly. Yeah, it's, At it's... first it was okay, but then it got really silly and super tropey. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm done with this. And it, it just really reminded me... 
it's a really cool uh, premise, though. Quantum Leap. Yeah, Quantum Leap. I used to watch so much Quantum Leap. But a Leap. little bit different because she kind of embodies the other person. She kind of turns into the other person's yeah. personality. In Quantum Leap, he has to kind of pretend to be the other person for a while. <laughs> Which is the best bit ever. <laughs> yes, it's so, so funny. Those shows around that time period were just insane. Like, so, could you imagine making Quantum Leap in 2019? I don't know. You'd have to You'd have to do a little twist on it, but I think you could do it. And, and I, it was very groundbreaking in yeah. terms of trying to... Uh, present empathy yeah. for the people he jumped into it's like oh he has the struggles of a whatever uh mentally challenged person or you know a uh, person of color or you know some like all these different things Absolutely. and it was like it's like and he learned <laughs> through living in this person's body it's like oh i'm me but i have to i i'm this is my outward appearance and i have to deal with this and and deal with people's reactions really kind of interesting and, okay. um, and I mean, and we had no like science fiction shows really around that time. I mean, there was like, oh, there's, I mean, other than like Doctor Who and like, yeah, I mean, there's Doctor Who and there's Twilight yeah. Zone, but like, it fell out of fashion, but there weren't like, like now it, we have like, you know, a lot of great sci-fi on television, yes. but there was not a lot of that. Yeah. Um, oh, Last of Us is a, I love the story of The Last of Us. It's uh, amazing. I have that. I bought that, but I haven't played it yet. Yeah. yeah. And Call of Duty Nazi Zombies is <laughs> classic. There's okay. so fucking many of those. Let's now. get into this. Okay. Project uh, Z, let's zone in. So oh. there is not instructions that I found for this. Because this is kind oh, of a I just final, in. but also work in progress. He was planning to put out this out on cart. Do I? Can I smack into these things? Yeah, those are fine. Just shoot the zombies. Uh, there is auto fire. <laughs> so I'll tell you that early. Not so you don't have to wait for me to play and then I just hold on button. Yeah, that's always what happens. <laughs> There's no bullets for to run out of. Uh, he says, Hello, I've been working on my first 2600 program called Project Z. It's a fast paced shoot 'em up with waves of zombies and skeletons alike. There are three main levels, each with its own challenge two large bosses and a gigantic final boss. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, we get upgrades for my guns there. It's pretty good. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Oh, that's cool. I'm curious if this uh, will be interested in this game as it's finished and ready for production. I've already promised two of my loyal helpers a free complete copy, but I'm not sure if I'm going to release it as a complete copy or not. So there may only be five or ten of this made. Whoa! Um, so Talk I, about oh, exclusive. You know, there's two people coming up here. Um, and I looked on um, Arena Foot's uh, uh, chart. Or a spreadsheet, and he does. He didn't note that it came out on cartridge, and I did a search for it on cartridge, but I didn't see it come out either. So I, I guess he didn't do it, or he did uh -oh. it in small Dude, amounts. Dude, it's getting intense now. Yeah. Oh, they're getting. They're just getting a little bit faster. There's more of them. Are they taking more than one bullet? No. Oh, oh there's three now. Yeah. See. Okay. You see, like, look at these guys. They're starting to get intense. <laughs> Like, look at that. They're almost jumping from, like, place to place to place. They're, like, invisible. What's happening? Is this a glitch or is this... <laughs> oh. Okay. See, look at this guy. He's just teleporting. Maybe work on the gun noises, but this looks promising. Do you see this? There's some teleporting. Oh. I got hit. Oh, you got oh, hit. God. Oh, God. Oh, they're teleporting? Yeah, do you see watching? that? Oh. See, he's just jumping around. Uh, no. Do you see that? This, no. like... I wouldn't say teleporting, but you see they're jumping from place to place to place. Like, look at these guys. They're just moving chunkier, I think. Well, they're moving farther. I haven't seen one, like, teleport to Well, no, I wouldn't say that, but look at this. It's like jump, 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 jump. Oh, they're like... <laughs> yeah, it's, they're not teleporting, like, massively across the screen. Oh, Whoa. boy. Now it's time boom, for boom, trouble. Boom. Now your, your area is restricted. What is happening? Oh, God. They've slowed back down. Yeah, I'm in the tunnels. Uh, finally, I tell you this. Uh, I'll tell you that this game will be re released on Friday the thirteenth this month. This was two thousand thirteen. Um, I'm seeing how interested the community will be in this type of game. As I said before, this is my first twenty six hundred effort, but I've learned a lot from the project and continue to learn from all the helpful people on this site. Uh, let me know what you think. And then he posted the day after he released it. Uh, work on the sound effects. Sounds like a certain car racing game. A certain racing game. Mallard Season says. Yeah, it is a constant. Which is like. What's got music? What's interesting is I'm sort of I'm off screen killing a lot of these guys. Because That's a good idea. You see, like. 
Because they come up to your level. So if off screen they're coming up to your level, it's a smart tactic. Oh, oh it's getting, actually got bigger. That's some good. more space. Because they're probably going to speed up. They haven't made it to the boss yet. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I still got a fair amount of lives. What a, yeah. what a crazy icon for lives. It's like a flaming skull. No, it's a hand reaching. Is it? Okay. Like out of a grave. This kind of looked like a skull. It's <laughs> red, right? That was my feeling. It's like the skull, the eyes are on the right. Uh, 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 buddy. Uh, Milton Boo says, pretty pretty damn good first effort. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a, it's first... a solid game. I haven't played a zombie game, game yet on um, uh, 2600. I'm no. sure you played so many more games than me. We, we played a game where you shoot people and they turn into graves. Yeah, but, Tombstone, but they, right? But they weren't zombies. No. Were, and there's, you know, a, well, there's a crazy mythology right there with like oh red shirts and, and there's... Blue shirts or something. Oh, I can't remember. I was like, I was reminding me a little bit of Firefly. I was like, oh yeah, this is a lot like... <laughs> Yeah, it was huge. Mythology. But I'll, I'll spoil anything with uh, my comparisons said, to other things. <laughs> <laughs> he said, thanks, everyone. I feel that I could have done more and more when I finished. I still had a list of the stuff I wanted to add. Oh, that never changes, man. But I've been There's working always... on a Contra-style game that's proven quite be quite amazing, which we never put it out, unfortunately. Oh, it's Contra's a cool game, man. 2013, so... Maybe we'll see ago. it. He does still go on the boards. I, did, I think I checked on him, because you can see when they last logged on. But I uh, don't think he's ever posted anything. Maybe he's the next person. Um, I really like the capabilities that Batari Basic has for someone with almost no knowledge. And also, the last game was made in Batari Basic <laughs> as well. Um, and, oh, whoa, look, see what I mean? Whoa. Teleporting. Um, I would say Because they're, they're like jumping from thing to thing to thing rather than walking, right? Because if they yeah. were walking, they would move. But They'd it, be a constant And look, movement. they're like invisible too at times. It's more like steps. You see that? Like I can't shoot them when they're teleporting. See, now it's uh, fine. Because see, this guy's walking. It's just steps up. But look at this. Oh, God. <laughs> Only have three more flaming skulls, Jace. <laughs> That's getting low on flaming skulls. I need some, sure. How do I get some more flaming skulls? <laughs> I don't think you do. It's not one of those games. <laughs> Maybe a look, ten, look at this 10,000 points. Oh, you made it! <gasps> Boss time. Oh, come on. I'm guessing you just shoot. shoot, do, I, shoot. do I hit? Go. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Oh, you got him. Uh, you hit him. Uh, 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 holy oh, shit. Boy. I gotta just, like, nail him and then, and then somehow yeah, dodge. Walk away. Kiting is the only way. Can okay. I go through the screen? Can I go through no. the screen? No, no, no. no, oh, no. Your gun can. I can. I can shoot. Okay, turn it around. So it looks like you can shoot him anywhere, so that's good. I have to just, like, not die, though, man. That's the hard part. There's a, um, uh, Castlevania 64 has a giant skull creature. Oh, giant yeah? skeleton. This reminds me of that. That was, like, one of my childhood games. Oh, Castlevania is such a classic. Yeah. It, although it's so regarded well as one of the worst the Castlevania 64? games. Yeah, because oh. it's, its camera is t horrible. Oh, no. I didn't know any better, though. I was I was uh, I was a young thing. <laughs> hey, as long as you enjoyed it, I en I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, my, but but, there, but it reminds me a lot of this character. Oh God, come on! Phasing out of our reality is a nice euphemism for flickering. <laughs> yes. Yeah, man. Because this guy is a little bit of flickering because you know we have our character and then that guy's a double, he's, he's, his a consciousness double. exists in a in a, in a in an ethereal plane that's tangentially connected to us <laughs> but Ooh, you got not hit. quite yeah i was doing okay though yeah you were um it's just hard cuz like look whoa is he speeding up a little yeah, bit yeah a little bit i think i might like i don't know do you know what i mean like oh you got hit dodging again. no i didn't no. or else i'd be dead cuz i got one flaming skull left <laughs> Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh god damn! Come on, you gotta die! You gotta die! You gotta make it past this. Guy. I have to. Well, this is so many bullets this guy took. <sighs> what? To a pile of bones. Level two? Oh boy! And he said there's three bosses. Oh my god! Oh, so you got all your lives back. Oh, so much stress for just like one guy. You got oh, all your lives back. God. That is good because you would not be able to survive. What Whoa. is happening? Whoa! Welcome to hell. Skeletons and zombies. Flashing light warning, everyone. Flashing light warning. Epilepsy Look, is epilepsy real. Epilepsy alert. What? Wonder what away. this would be like on 30 frames, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> not good. Well, you would only get red or no. Those are not flashing constantly. It's like a random flicker. So you kind of get kind of red turning to black. And then back I love again. that we're now killing skeletons instead of zombies. Oh, oh it's closing the in. The world is closing like lava. in. Oh my god. 
so intense. Mallard season says it this actually builds spooky tension. Nice for twenty six. I would describe That's this as tent, the word I would use to describe this game is metal. This is a very <laughs> metal game, metal. man. Very like even this screen, it's everything's metal. I'm like, oh yeah, it does have a good. Like, even good listen to that. that it's too bad he didn't put it on card. I think he could do pretty well Fuck with yeah, this. Like, this is like a great little zombie game, man. And you barely survive level Dude, one. even the, the flaming skull icon, it's very <laughs> metal. We just need Nicolas Cage. Uh, that's that's right. all we need. To yell something crazy We out. need We need Nicolas Cage to do some voiceover. <laughs> Whoa. Say, oh my god, you just got hit twice. Yeah, it's getting intense, man. Save your lives, oh. boss. Whoa, that guy's moving quick. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. There's not a lot of room. Whoa. Shit. It's got to be coming to a close soon. I feel, yeah. I actually honestly am feeling slightly. Whoa, it's um, flashing, uh, it's gone out of control. Uh, I'm feeling a physiological reaction. <laughs> like, I'm physically, I'm like, I, this is like very intense on my eyes because your screen is very big. Yes. Yeah, so There's a, a very big, big screen big. that you've got going here. And I'm since I'm playing it, I have to be zoned in. I can't look anywhere else. Yeah. It's a very it's, cool effect. This is like a Gaspar Noe film right now. It is actually. It is. I've never seen that kind of effect. Yeah, it's strobing. I mean, he I, he's the only a filmmaker I know that's like really abuses uh, strobing. He um, did in his new film. He did in his new film. He didn't. He was good. That's cool. So, you, you haven't seen it yet? Nah, I want to see God it so see badly, climax. man. Oh my God. It's, it's crazy, but in a different way. It's not like visually assaulting. Oh God. It's like mentally assaulting. <laughs> that's cool, man. I feel yeah. like I, I haven't and, been... And restores my faith in him after Love? Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, love is just a well, I don't, abysmal. I don't three. love Oh, his, you just got it twice. I know, I'm trying my best, man. This is not easy. Um, I just found it was like, it felt like a student film to me. Oh, like over. some sad acting and yeah. boring boring shots. Well, you did pretty good for we your made first it, run. We did, <laughs> directed by Rob Zombie. Yeah, man, yes. little, little, just put it, for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Like, the, look how it starts. So kind of normal. Yeah, you don't. You you then don't you descend know. into hell. Fuck, man! Much. I want to know what level three is. Like, if that's yeah. level two, what, what? Where do we? Where do we where go? Do you go from there. <laughs> that's intense. I never thought it would be like get to that with this game. I thought it would be like a kind of peaceful zombie shooter. Yeah. Although yeah, this sound the the sound effects is we is a yeah. little we gotta it needs gotta to work be more that. sparse with the sound like the like what is it it's supposed need to be noise. like a machine gun like a, yeah like it's supposed to be like that but it's kind of because after a while you do need to hold it down like right now I don't need to but listen to the music watch the ground watch the ground it's true hold. Oh. Yeah, the tension is for sure. Oh. I haven't played in, 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 in... Metal is the word. I feel like I just jumped into a mosh pit. <laughs> someone's tripping on something next a to me. A zombie and mosh like, pit, with, and you have a machine gun. Yeah. I think the only person I can compare this type of look to is Fair Janice Zoltan's games, where his are very visually intense and flashy um yeah i feel metal music in his game i feel relieved that i'm not looking at that what? strobe uh, man i'm not gonna lie i feel kind of <laughs> nice now that it's now that we're not strobing because that was intense yeah like a bit hard on my on my my nervous system <laughs> some of these zombies you, you have to shoot them like in the head more than like i like if they're on your level sometimes i can't get them like it wasn't hitting them yeah, you see, they get it. They turn invisible almost. Yeah, and I mean that's the flickering, so that might contribute to it. But... I think it's almost like when they connect with the tombstone. No, mm. not really. Uh, one did it without. No, the the tombstone. It's just you. If there's three, if you and two other ones are in the same line, that's when it starts flickering. The yeah. Atari only has two sprites, which is a severe limitation. That's the biggest struggle. <laughs> it's the limited number of sprites that you have to work with on the Atari. Just two. And everything else is uh, missiles and bullets and like you have to get really creative. He 
He said you should put a, a an option to tr uh, to toggle the flickering off for the next one. Oh yeah, that would be good for people who are more sensitive to Some it. Some people who probably couldn't actually physically play no. it. Like Tanya wouldn't be able to play this game. She wouldn't. No, she can't take flickering. She'd just be like, I'm out. So I'm so glad I didn't, I didn't uh, put it on her day because I didn't know I didn't I hadn't played to level two, right? I just made sure it works on the system. take two shots. I think they do take two shots. One. Nope, just one. Some one well-placed shot. I'll stop the machine gun because it's annoying. Right, <laughs> right. Especially because it's pretty chill right now. Yeah. When it starts getting intense, you can... Well, it's not too bad, actually. Shooting. So he probably... Int well, he did put auto-fire on, so he did intend for a, an automatic I mean, for the boss, gun. man. You need Yeah, you need it for the boss. Can you imagine trying to do that boss without... Oh my God. Work calls. We'll catch the rest uh, this evening. Thanks, guys. No, so thanks for hanging out, man. No, this is oh, uh, S. Ramirez. Ramirez. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, watching. Oh. It's so great that he that uh, Arena's in Macy's <laughs> commenting on zero pages. That's He's hilarious. trying to find. I like to imagine his daughter's just like trying on a dress. He He's just like, yeah, pulls yeah, out the looks phone. Good. Dad, is this one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shoot the zombie. I mean, yeah, it looks good. It looks great. <laughs> what? What was that, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that one. It's fine. <laughs> I guess it's a uh, dress for, like... Yeah. Like, graduation, you usually wear a robe. Oh, no, it's a, you'd wear it's it? a huge tradition of, like, for the after parties and oh, stuff. And yeah. for girls, it's a big deal. I, I know, like, oh, right at right. least when I was growing up, all the girls would uh, dress up like ah. Disney princesses almost. That was the thing. Mm. So it was like, and girls would sort of say, oh, this is the only time that they get to, like, dress up. It was, Beyond I, a wedding, I guess. This is literally what a lot of women, ah. a lot of my friends who were women would say. They'd be like, okay, so when I get married and when I graduate, I get to dress and look like a, <laughs> like a, like a goddess. Yeah, like go a, over the top. Them, yeah, right? and versus for a dude, you just show up in a suit, like you're like yeah. whatever. You pick black or black, and you rip the tie off as soon as possible because <laughs> yeah. it's strangling your neck. Versus oh the God, girls, it's a, it's, a, it's a big deal. And, I, can't. and also the girls I know would all compare dresses and like, and they would talk about it and spend months searching for it. And so I know it's a big deal. It depends, but that's not all women. Like obviously, some people care less. Yeah. Oh no, I have to stay at the top. Extreme top because he follows you in the middle. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best method, and then you get a little bit of a hit. And you can get him. That's a good way to strafe as you're moving. Definitely a good idea. As soon and you as kind you of come start, down. as soon as he comes within range, start moving up. And you have three flaming skulls, so you're good. Uh, yeah, I think I can make it, and it, it gives him completely back. If I continue with this tactic, I think I'll be able to do it. RC7E has a good point. He says that um, he feels like with shooters, they should deduct points for missed shots to discourage holding down the button. <laughs> yeah, not, you're not wrong. Of, yeah, I mean, a lot of them have, like, you have these many bullets, and you will run out. Yeah, especially for a zombie game. Ooh. Yeah, yeah to how make it a be. bit more realistic or a bit more, like, uh, Left 4 Dead is probably my favorite zombie game. I don't know if you've ever played Left 4 Dead. No. A very, very cool game. One of the best... One of the best games I've ever played, but it has yeah. very limited bullets, which is uh, what makes it very fun. It makes it more intense. Like, you have to ration your bullets, and if you run out, you have to run and find some more yeah, bullets. Yeah, and on the easy setting, there's more bullets, and on the hard setting, there's there's less. It's... Oh. oh, I thought I found something. <laughs> Just stay in the bottom, and they can completely appear. I mean, that is a tactic. Oh, look at that. Because they head to right, right for you. So if you stay on the bottom... It's going to be a bit easier. Good idea, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. And I think it all goes to hell when there's two of them. Yeah, you can't yeah, do that anymore. Yeah, now they're starting to like... That tactic fell apart Well, <laughs> you know, quick. it worked for a bit, man. That's not yeah. a bad thing. That's the thing. It's like, that's the sound of a good game. Yeah, it if throws you, you a loop. You got some ideas, it might work for you for a little bit, and then all of a sudden there's a flashing screen and you're in hell. <laughs> you know, you just... <laughs> oh, yeah. You're, 
Oh, you, God. you think you're just hanging out in a graveyard, having you know lunch with your friends. <laughs> Next second, <laughs> arms are reaching out. This peaceful graveyard. Then you fight this massive skeleton, and then you're thrown into lava, and there's a bunch of skeletons coming at you. And, God. and you just wanted to, to lose your virginity <laughs> on, on, on grad night. That's all you wanted. In a graveyard. Oh, <laughs> that, was your, that, was, that was your only wish. Little did you know. Zombies. I hit the side. Dumb, anyway, dumb, I was gonna dumb. die anyway. Damn it! Didn't make it to. It's a rough one, man. Do you want to do it again? Do it again. Yeah, one more. Yeah, you can jump in and do one more. Okay. Because you're better at these games than me, man. Uh, you made it the same distance as I did. Yeah. I was just. Freaking. I think I just honed in the. I think you got a little too clever in the. You yeah. know what I mean? That's the only reason why I did better. Just I was just. For tactics. I was just like. Hold the button, don't die. <laughs> We're in hell. A nice CRT effect can become annoying digital display flicker. Yes, it can. But hopefully it's not too annoying. Because there's no phosphor die off on a digital display. So the flicker is not flicker on a CRT. It kind of holds and fades. Oh, wow. That's that's why Flickr is a bit better on a, on CRT. a CRT. I'd love to see it and experience it. That'd yeah. Be, I don't yeah, own a CRT. Cause so. it's, well, it makes sense, man. I mean, <laughs> Actually, no, I do. I, what am I talking about? I have a Commodore monitors. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, but you can't stream that. Yeah, we. it's like, you know, it's like the people who break their phones and then they do a screen capture and they're like, look at my phone that's broken. And it's people like, are like, mm, ah, no, no. that's not how it works, that's kids. That's a really good analogy, actually. Because you can't stream a CRT unless you point a camera at it and, and you have the right um, uh, frame rate. Not and it, Frame rate, exposure, exposure, everything. You have to set it all exposure. perfectly. And even lighting, honestly. Yep. That's the only way you could come close to kind of showing what a CRT is. I think it would be better for a CRT if you had no lights on. It was a completely oh, dark yes, space and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. That would be the only source of light. And it wouldn't be uh, interfering. Let's see if I can make it to the boss with all my lives. Yeah, good goal. Not that this is a, I need them, it's, but... It's interesting, man. Like, um, it's not easy. Even mm -hmm. this stuff, like, <clears throat> when they get a bunch on the screen and they're kind of jolting around and no. some are kind of invisible and other ones, like, it's not... And they're coming from both left and And then you're kind right. of trying to dodge one and then someone pops up on the right or left. Like, it's not... This is this is definitely a bit easier. I mean, not yeah. to, I don't want to jinx you, but no, it I, is. I've, it is. I found this to be the easiest level because you just kind of like. Um, I guess he made it easy because there's such a small play field. Yeah, you have to. Otherwise, it would be almost unfair. Filming it still can look different. We talked about Vectrex. Yeah, it's true, man. Yeah, it's the only way to capture a Vectrex. Is I bet to I film could. It. I bet I could come up like if I had to fuck around. I bet I could. I could come up oh, with yeah. a good thing. But I'd also want to color correct it too. That's the other thing is you need to take it through a whole post process to to do it as well. Because yeah. um, OBS has color correction. Yeah. So you can do it real time if you stream it. If you stream it. Yeah. Um, but this is the the clearest way to do a 2600 stream is an RGB output yeah. upscaling through a frame meister and all this. Oh, it's the greatest thing. The other issue you have is that there's going to be some uh, degradation no matter what. Like if you upload like a live captured video then yeah. streamed and encoded over the internet and it depends on what they're playing it back at. Like that's yes. why it's so nice to have the cleanest signal possible for yeah. streaming. So I think that's like one of the issues with the internet actually is that you know, when you when you take it down the pipeline, there's so much encoding that happens. A lot of compression. Yeah. Um, I mean, that was a big thing about the latest Game of Thrones episode. There was a big debate online yeah. about why it looked the way it looked. Mm -hmm. um, because everybody was complaining, it's really dark, it's really dark, I can't see it properly. Um, and a lot of film people stepped in and were blaming the compression. Yeah. Um, for say because it was dark because it was also um, very like uh, foggy as yeah. well and those two things don't compress well because there's a lot of information so and a lot of randomness that's correct man and also the way things compress in very bright or very dark I'm curious who the images. DP is there's a contemporary DP 
um, who shot Arrival, and he also shot um, mm. uh, the Solo movie, and he works in this very dark threshold, and right. so his movies project very well, but they play very bad at mm. home videos. Like, if anyone saw yeah. Solo, um, that's a movie... Well, there was a complaint, there was a complaint about Solo oh, yeah. as well, it was very dark. There's, like, scenes in that movie that it's, like, honestly hard to see people's expressions but people were complaining in the theater about so much. oh yeah so like yeah. you stream that shit at home you're you can't <laughs> see because a lot of a lot of tvs have like contrast jacked like it's a really yeah. it's a huge issue theater projections they're very uncompressed they're still compressed but they're they're have a huge bandwidth like dcp projections are, totally you can make them quite big <laughs> and they and they play back um uh different it's actually a different color scheme and gamma schemes mm. um which they have to convert to play on different um monitors so like you're actually seeing more color information more everything yeah. um so that's a, but that's a huge issue right and that's why a lot of those shows i mean that's the problem with it, it's a big issue with hbo man like they should have they should have yeah. flagged that um, All my life. Good work, dude. It's also a creative process too. I um, this is like slightly snobby. I, I apologize in advance. <laughs> when I watched the first season of Game of Thrones, I really didn't love the look of it. It all looked mm. like it was shot in studio. They had backlights and a lot of things. And I think they had quite a high of a budget. For yeah. The first season. Or I think they, I think their approach to lighting was very classically like mm. set oriented. And the, and then you watch season oh, two. I see. All of a sudden, um, there's lighting by candlelight. They have torches that become the only subject, and the show, and they have lights coming only from outside. And I think the show looks amazing from second season onward. I'm um, not that it didn't look good in the first season, but I felt an immersion that uh, was really helpful just for lighting choices. Yeah. And then I, so I think they were, they've also been embracing that philosophy, which is a great philosophy because it's like if you're in the Middle Ages, you're not going to yes. have. Uh, a studio light backlighting anybody. It's just not going to be the case. If you're hanging out in a castle, like there's a quality of light. Like you think about the Kubrick movie. Like yes, there's there's a there's a, a, um, a Barry Lyndon. Barry Lyndon the, is all candlelight. Yeah, there's a there's, all natural. Light. Which is the the kind of light that strikes people's faces, and that's what I loved about Game of Thrones. And I think the newest episode, they were trying to stick with that. It's like there's these night scenes, and they just went way too far. It's like that threshold though. Like you gotta yeah. you gotta ride that line between like visible and artistic and you have to understand where people are going to be watching this and especially for hbo they're watching it on their tvs at home or in their tablet or something so you, have to, you have to think about that it, it's, is this going to be highly compressed for a lot of people yeah. is this going to be viewed on things that don't accurately display color properly and, and just because it looks good on one monitor doesn't mean no death Boom. Okay, you're. I think you got a shot. <laughs> we'll you see. Got a shot. We'll see how you do. See if I can make it to the boss in level two. It gets hectic. Yeah, man. The, the, if you play in this, you would feel it. It would get. It would get intense. Yeah, I work as a colorist, so that's why. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. why I have all these opinions. Because <laughs> um, I color correct movies. And it's an art. It's an rather, art. Rather than it, there's a lot of technical, but it's an art too. Yeah, it's a, you, it's balanced between. Is it gonna display well, and how do I want to make this look and feel? Totally, and, color. and imagining how it will play on different um, monitors. Oh yeah. Um, you and can be all snobby and go, no, I'm only gonna make this look good in the theater. But then, or it's like, how's this gonna look on some of these? Films? Yep. <laughs> like I, I color corrected James's movie, and we got to see it in the theater finally, oh, and it's yeah, and it all its beautiful. glory. Um, and it looks good on like um, just computers too, which is like yeah. that's I felt like I did my job that it looks good on both cause because that's it will what eventually you... come out on streaming, right? So you have to make sure it's like yeah, this is going to be okay on a computer monitor, yeah. and you have to get obsessed with different cameras because each camera has different things. Yeah, it's a fun job, but it says but that's why I have stupid opinions like I like Game of Thrones season two <laughs> over season yeah. one because of X Y Z, um, but I also understand that like that is definitely like. You know, a lot of there's a, there's a line in Community where Abed says, "I just got a, a new camera that uh, that adjusts really specific settings that nobody notices. It doesn't really matter." <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah, "I was like, course. that's totally how it is. You you end up you spend like I, I got five thousand dollar equipment that will adjust all these things because at the end of the day, like we we watch Game of Thrones to watch dragons fuck each other yeah. up. Like that's why we're there. We're not." We're not there for the lighting quality and, uh, you know, the all this shit. Color balance. Shoot the skeleton. I think I'm doing pretty good. Still got five Oh, Militant Buddha said, I really thought the dark helped the mood. 
yeah, man, I'm, I'm on your side. Yeah, but, yeah. But that's the thing is... Think is, about move, but you have to think about the average watcher and how, what they're going to think about it. I can't see anything. Yeah, that's the problem. But I'm with you. I would go... I think... I, one of my philosophies is I'd rather underlight something than overlight it. Like, yeah, you think about yeah, The Godfather. Yeah. That's a brilliant fucking movie. Yeah. Um, and Godfather 2. And, um, you know, and I also think like the, one of the coolest choices about in the Dark Knight movies is, like, you couldn't see Batman. He was, like... Yeah matte and dark because that's the dopey thing about some of those early ones is it's like we can like how come batman is has all the lights on like what are we doing <laughs> yeah. here guys why would he do that like i love tim burton but it's like jesus ah. man um and that's, that's where i thought the, like the dark knight was so cool because it's like oh he was stalking and there and there were these dark scenes so i'm so into the mood lighting i think oh, yeah, yeah, something yeah. being you think shot in silhouette all that stuff is so cool like even like this man i'm so into stuff like this we got like flashing red and like darkness and i'm way Whoa. into this this kind yeah. of stuff yeah hard. i think this is right before oh my god oh yeah my james god. is an award-winning uh, documentary filmmaker i am <laughs> um, he's also he also does like other movies too um yep. he just happened to be the, the latest film he worked on was a documentary yeah which is tough because you get pigeonholed which is rough yeah and that's why i don't want to jump into it Dude, Second boss, one life though. I'm just gonna lot. die because I don't know the pattern. Yeah, everyone wants you to do the thing. What the hell? Did anybody see what it was? What happened? No. Oh. Oh, oh well. I must have been. I James been... and Steven Spielberg in disguise. It's yeah, true, man. Right. It's so true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's got a beard and glasses, and just have to wear the ba baseball cap, right? Yeah, dude. Milton <laughs> Brutus brings up the best point ever. It's just where scary movies go wrong is they show everything. That real. Yes. Just it's, take a lesson from like Alien. What's and and keep keep your monster in the dark yes. and and Jaws. Keep your monster a monster. Dude. Like monsters don't get seen. There's scary things in the dark. Well, the, it's it's also it comes down to biology, right? Like we are biologically tuned to be afraid of the thing we don't know. As soon as we know it, it's no longer scary. That's right. It's it's like anyone with social anxiety is terrified of like the unknown of all these social factors. Like any form of fear is that. And as soon as like everyone has that moment where they go, "Oh, I get this. This is safe." You know, we have that. So it's yeah. like we need things need to play with that. So that's right. Good, good game. Very simple concept. White Walkers in the Dark got you. That's right. It man. did. Like Dude, Project Z is great. I'm sad that I didn't even get to see the second guy. He looked like a, a guy full of bones again. I only saw him flash on the screen for like one frame. Man, Alien is like one of the best movies ever. Yeah, I have to watch that again. It's one of those things where like you know that's where we're so lucky. Like Ridley Scott's a motherfucker. Oh yeah. He's such a good director. Um, which joystick do you want? We're going to play a two-player game now. Um, I'll like do this one. I like okay. this one. This is my favorite kind of joystick. Atari Vox is gone. It is. Hold down. Got it. Atari Vox. Vox. We can step so, in. So, what did you think of that game? Pretty I thought good. that was cool, man. Very intense. It's a very simple game, but the way it was developed so that it closes in. I like and, it a lot. And the skeletons speed up. That first playthrough when we didn't know what was happening, I was, <laughs> I was like, like what the hell? Okay, so this is Jupiter Sumo. Jupiter Sumo. Let me change the graphic here. It said your hair looks super blue in the Atari camera. Oh, Atari camera. I oh, think it means the overhead, one. yeah, when you were oh, popping in. Yeah, it's got auto color balance. So it's just pop. Auto white balance, so it does whatever it wants. It's doing its own weird thing. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Let me get out the notes. It's in PAL. It's going to take a second to readjust its PALness. Because, there we go. Because Jupiter's another Sumo. advantage of doing this digitally is that even though this is a PAL game, Ataris are, they don't care. They just output. That's amazing. It can be a, a PAL game, an NTSC game. It's the TV that matters if it can receive an NTSC or PAL. But in line, I have a frame meister that goes, send me anything. I'll change it. Yeah. I'll that's change the... the frame rate. I'll change the the uh, aspect ratio. I'll change the... That's uh, an amazing piece of hardware you oh, have yeah. there, man. It was it was not cheap. <laughs> but I knew I had to get it for this show. Oh, no cats today because uh, one of them was... Uh... Oh, yeah. We didn't tell the story. Um, Pixel had to go in for surgery uh, yesterday. Not Not serious, so don't worry. It it was uh, he had a bad tooth, 
and so it had to get pulled. And then actually, while he was under, they found two, two bad teeth. Yeah. Um. So yesterday he came home all drugged up and loopy and stumbly. But today he's much better, but he's still, you know, he's he's resting upstairs. Right. There was a key thing that James did. He give them some catnip yeah the, they were just they were tripping balls when i came in <laughs> yeah, atari happy. had just like stuff on his face and he's just like, looking uh, his, and then he was like hanging outside in the sun and it's like yeah, they're yeah, happy right it's now like, you go go but live life man. atari machines Ooh, really really i always thought pal it was independent i mean there's power you have to have a certain oh you know what you're right there are PAL, PAL Atari machines, but PAL Atari machines can still play NTSC games. Wild. Because in PAL countries, actually just every country, um, a lot of different countries have different power requirements. Yeah, yeah. For the box itself. It's because so the... I, I did I did speak out of turn. Um, yeah, we missed the cats too, Mr. Yeah, Pikes. sorry, no cats today. Um, the RF modulator is difference is the difference I believe. Is, is it? See, this is where you guys got to Oh, in. it would be as this. well. Maybe crystal, too. That's funny. Maybe the crystal, the time and crystal. Possibly to sync up with the 50 hertz instead of 60. I'm talking shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> um, my my machine can... It, it, it's all set up. At, all Atari machines can accept NTSC and PAL games. They will output them crazy depending on your output. Like, yeah, I so. guess what is true is that your Frame Meister it opens up the world for you so you yes. can play both, which is huge for the show. Like, yes. We'd be screwed if we... Yeah, and luckily it does um, do the colors correctly as far as I know. It interprets PAL colors. Correctly. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I never even thought about that. I just went, yeah, it works. Okay, Jupiter Sumo. Let me read about this before we get into it. Uh, this is by Philip Lind, a.k.a. Boom Lind. Ooh. First posted, uh, he just posted it. There's never been any updates. August 31st, 2014. It is a 2K game. Very small. Um, is this is there... the only game he's ever made as well. Seacam oh, game. C-cam I don't even game. know what that means. Um, there's a very few amount of countries that have Seacam. Um, Atari... Their implementation of CCAM, it's only 16 colors, I believe. Wow. So they look like garbage because there's only 16 compared to 128 colors. Um, so they didn't do a great implementation, but there's hardly any countries that use CCAM. Mm. It's just another format like NTSC and PAL. Um, so they're pretty rare. I don't know if any... Oh, Icepost says, yes, there were some CCAM, game, CCAM games. Thanks, Icepost. Probably not too many. Like CCAM only games. Not CCAM games, but CCAM only. Like, never put out an NTSC or PAL. I wonder. I wonder, too. I mean, yes, yeah, C- games were coded for CCAM, but are there only, only CCAM games? Hmm. Um, it says, hi, I just finished my first Atari 2600 game. I would call it a mix of Jupiter Lander and Q Sports. Never heard of I don't know Sports. what either of those things are, but I'm sure they. I'm sure <laughs> it is a perfect combination of Jupiter those Lander is like, you have a thrust, it goes... Ooh. You're like a, a ship, and you want you need to land on platforms and stuff. I'm terrible at those games. Those games are cool. This I'm is usually where... pretty terrible at them, too. Yeah, well, you're definitely better than me at them. <laughs> I remember there's one game we had to play with the paddles. It was like landing. Oh, that, was a, that was so yeah. hard. It currently runs in PAL, but changing it to run in NTSC should be a matter of changing a few variables in the code and the play field data. I don't know if he posted his code. Any such contribution is welcome and will be merged with the rest of the code. Cool. So, Jupiter Sumo is... I'm going to read this out before we play. Okay. Because it is a two-player game and I can't read it. Yeah, the, we have to, like... Jupiter Sumo is a oh. two-player action game where you control the Jupiter Lander-like vehicle trying to bump into each other, into the obstacles of the arena. Very much like sumo wrestling. You have to push the other guy out of the ring. Uh, the first player to crash four times will lose. The game runs on blah, 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 blah. The co- source code is free to use under terms of the MIT license. Where's this guy from? Oh, I didn't say. Uh, in the year 2600. Huh, huh. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's funny. I've never seen anybody use that year in any Atari game. Very clever. It's also smart because all those 80s movies are oh, like, God. in the year 1998. It's like, oh. guys, we we got to... We gotta... It's not that far off. We're, AI's not coming that quick. We got to go farther than that, buddy. Yeah. Uh, robots, uh, there's... We have a book in the other room 
It's a book of sci-fi. Yeah. And it actually has a timeline for all the movies when they happened. Like this. That's a cool book. Movie said this. Mo- this movie said it was set in. 2010 or 2001 or 1999 <laughs> yeah and, and you can see up this total timeline it's so like, great it's so silly yeah and so it, when they thought this was going to be the future because i've future. always been of the opinion that make it so it's at least not the next generation yeah. you know like, yeah you know it's just... like the people making the film are not going to be alive when this happens yeah like... so you're allowed like that's where the year i'm on board with the year 2600 there's no way any of us are alive in the year 2600 nobody will care about atari games back then there'll be a relic there'll be an entry in a wikipedia be some crazy yeah. vr thing that's yeah. what we do then uh, uh robots have largely replaced the human population he says what's the title of the book uh ooh, let me go get it because i don't know the title yeah man because it's uh it's really and it gives a rundown of every movie we're alone we can talk we can talk about james now now we'll just wait for him to come back Ooh, what's this? It's called The Sci-Fi Chronicles, A Visual History of the Galaxy's Greatest Science Fiction. So there you go, and it actually color codes on the back. Alien Invasion, Apocalyptic Fiction, Alternative Works, Cyberpunk, um, and... So what's Sci-Fi Chronicles? Someone type that in the chat so that we have it just in writing. It's always easier. And it's got... Oh, let's see. What order does it do it in? I think it does it in, like, when they were released, first of all. So you go from now to, oh, well, she's reading 2002. And it was put out... 2000. Hey, we do have a cat. There's an Atari. Atari. Oh, in the back it's got pictures of famous spaceships, outlines of them. Atari's sobered up, man. He's, <laughs> uh, he's off the catnip now. You yeah. better now? Oh, he's in the cat cam. He's got the munchies now. <laughs> it's got lots of pictures of, from different films. Oh, we're in tiny, tiny form. Dude, he's fully in the in the go. in the uh, Atari cam. Excellent. Um, and it has budget, or how much it made. Yeah, and it goes through like oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It came out in all these forms. Here's all the books. Here's all the movies that came out in. That's an incredible story, man. The, <clears throat> the book is crazy good. Oh, yeah. As the timelines of everything. I mean, it's really good. Oh, it has yeah. video games, too. Wow. Here. Okay, so this is a good this recommendation, man. Really this is, good. I would say this is a killer coffee table book, if oh, there ever yeah. was one. Yeah, this is really or like Or a bathroom book, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you pull it off and, 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 and like flip anyway, it through. Very cool. Yeah, that's the, that's the bit. Okay, uh, now we'll continue on reading. We're almost done with the lore. Ooh, Jupiter Sumo. Uh, wars over distant resources are carried out by an unmanned spacecraft. On Jupiter, the war over gas mining rights between two Japanese mega corporations has been formalized into a competitive sport where millions of kilodollars are spent daily <laughs> on our... That's a funny term, kilodollars, which only means thousands of dollars. Yeah, Drexel says he's listening from the store. Oh, hey, while they Drex. Do in- inventory. Yep. That's awesome. Good thing to put in the background. <laughs> it's kind of funny to have like a, a almost a radio broadcast of people playing video games. It makes sense, though. I, yeah. I get it. We... Uh, okay. Jupiter Estate Ownership by ultimately pushing each other into the plasma fields and closing the arena. The I mean, battles, who hasn't? The, I know. It's an every day. <laughs> I, did it late. I did it yesterday. It was, it was lots of fun. The battles are casually enjoyed as the main sources of entertainment for the remaining human population in the brain vats of old Earth. Oof. That's excellent. That's a cool... That's a, I like this lore. You ready to go? Okay, I'm set. Let me put it back on the screen so I don't make that mistake. People are like, we can't see it! We can't see it playing! I had the Mac video game Hitchhikers. Yeah, I played it on the C64, the text, ad- text adventures of Hitchhikers. It's a great translation. Like, Hitchhikers is so fun because every iteration of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is so different. Oh, yeah. Like, they make it different. Like, the book is different from the radio play, which is different from the movie, which is different from the video game. So it's like, it, yeah. I mean, it has the same kind of plot, but it, it is just tweaked a little bit. Up is thrust. Whoa, which one am I? Okay. You're pink. 
I'm not paying. Okay, shit. Okay, so not too much, thing. not too little. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. It gives you a little boost at the beginning. Oh, shit. I'll uh, let you get your controls under control before I start destroying you. Oh, God. So what? Whoa. what's my, like... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, this dear, is, This is the game. Okay, okay. Come on, just stay in one spot. Okay. Press up. Try and stay in the middle of the square. Okay, so, like, do we smash into each other? Is we try and push each other into any of the blocks. Okay. So try and do some navigation now, left to right. I feel like you could just hang out and, like, just wait for me to die. <laughs> and... Probably. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's, let's pay some attention to this. Let's uh, Rust likes zone. thrust thrust games. Well, there you go. You'll be all over this one. Yeah, we gotta get thrust. It's all about thrust. I feel like thrust v james would be the real show not an airlift yeah. v james oh, he'd wipe the floor with me oh can you die oh. from these middle ones okay i gotta Have you run into one of these middle ones or is yeah. it just oh, the outside Jesus edge Christ. okay you can die in the middle ones okay i have to just not die man <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal of any game good game not die okay i want to see what happens if i nudge you hey no ah nice satisfying little thing whoa Whoa! <laughs> okay, okay, that's an interesting tactic. Get underneath, Get underneath the guy. The guy. Oh Ooh, God! Don't really don't skilled. use my tactics against you really me. Oh, it's hard though. Oof! Wow, this is um a learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these just a thrust style game. I think I'm gonna go underneath through the middle. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. Ah! <laughs> I got zealous. I was yeah, like, "You did too much." I was a dog with a bone. I was like, yeah. "I see him. I can get him." Oh. <sighs> Ram your opponent. Oh, okay, we're okay. in it. We're doing it now. Okay. I'm gonna Sh go after him. Shit's getting real, man. Grace period is over. Whoa, whoa. Ah. Oh. Cause you can't go too fast or you no. sabotage yourself. You gotta be careful, man. This is uh, high stakes. No! Uh, you can get above, too. Yeah, you can, you can fuck someone up. Pretty. Because there's gravity that's always pushing as well. Oh my god, I was fully pushing up, too. <sighs> okay, this is the first real one. Yes. Oh, I was closer Ooh, to the edge. Yeah, it was just like, I wouldn't say luck, so, but it there was an element of that. Whoa, close call. Oh, oh you're in trouble. God damn it. Oh, whoa. Thrust, help us. <laughs> Send us good vibes. Thrust oh. is my spirit animal for this game. <laughs> Oh. oh god, full body experience. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, Whoa, I got excited. I was like, I got him, and I then. I was almost dead. You oh, saved me from god dying. Damn it. Oh, I hear like. Was, is that yeah. us echoing back? I don't know. Are we? I heard like a sound. I don't think it's us, though. It's just. Ooh, something. it might be playing in that. Maybe I'm wasting balance. No, oh. no, no. Oh. Ooh, oh. I'm just gonna check. Oh, no. We're still playing. Head to I'll head. check after this game. Head to head. Whoa. <gasps> you won? I did. You did win. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Funny. Okay. Didn't affect us. Okay, what do we got? Questions. Oh. Um, oh, that's Sorry. okay. Uh, no, there are no variations. <laughs> you didn't put any variations. As far as I know. Yeah, reset, reset. Let me just make sure. No Ram your opponent. That's right, dude. That's what. That's that's the gig. Okay. okay. Yeah. Somebody posted in the forums. I don't know why he didn't make the button the thrusting. But I guess it's it's fine pressing up. It kind of makes sense. No. Because you're already pressing to the left and right. Oh. 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 Got me with the angle. There's some... I should have died, too, multiple times. No! <laughs> wow. From above. Good work. Oh. It's tough. There's 
no downward thrust. There's just gravity. It's just... Oh, oh. shit. Suicide. Looks better than ricocheting two invisible, ta uh, invisible tanks for two player. Oh, God. That's tough, man. It's, it's like chess. You just don't make a mistake and you, yep. you, you'll do okay. <laughs> That's one of the adages of chess, actually. It's, yeah, avoid mistakes. Well, you, if you, if you wait for your opponent to make a mistake, uh, that actually in some, capitalize on it's that. a real legit like like um, philosophy actually, because um, most again. most <laughs> most chess is just like won by someone just making no mistakes. Wow. And just waiting for the other person to fuck up. <laughs> so it's, this is the same thing. It's like you, you, it's a legit tactic in this game to just make sure that. Yeah, like you have to be on the defensive. Yeah. At all times, like you have, you try and do some of. Um, sorry, that you have to be on the defense Ooh. at all times. Yeah. Because you are in danger at all. Every danger, corner. Will Robinson. There's so many dangers in this. Oh, oh God damn it! Game board variations would be a big bonus. Yeah, Definitely. I'm really. It's yeah. Really too bad he didn't continue with this game because this has so much potential for variations. And no, oh, I was getting aggressive. I was playing. Yep. Oh, I was busting my queen out too early. Yeah, can't get aggressive because you'll run yourself right into the corner. So it's like soft blows. Oh Boom. no. Boom. Oh. Did I win? Yeah, yeah, you did. Nice. Finally won a game. Oh, I guess oh. I've been doing okay. You have been. So I've been too aggressive. Like I did it again. I yeah. went too far. It is. I do think the chess philosophy is a good one with this game. Because there's some games where it's just like so clearly skill. Yes. But with this one, it's like if you don't make a mistake. Which ends up to be like little gentle bounces. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's, it's concentration though, man. Fuck. It is. Oh, oh, now I gotcha. No. Oh, oh. man. Sent me flying. I always underestimate games. Like this one. I was like, oh, okay, okay, two little guys moving Just around. Bouncing about. No, no. A lot of tactics. See right there, it's like you, you went too much. Well, yeah, you you just basically almost just waited for me to make a mistake, which is smart. Oh, oh yeah. okay, he's coming back. I gotta get aggressive, which is how you lose, or is it? Or is that how you win? Ah, oh, 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 oh. oh, see, that's how you lose. Getting too aggressive. Yep. The stakes man. are high. The stakes are. Sudden high. death. Oh, yes. No. Oh, knew it. So somebody did come up with some variations, uh, like somebody typed out a lot. Uh, <clears throat> Mef from Poland uh, said, Hi Boomland, I was always in love with the Jupiter Lander Space Taxi, Space Taxi as well, I'm waiting for somebody to do a full version of Space Taxi. Yeah. There's been a lot of attempts. Uh, maybe I'll do a Space Taxi day. Or compares all the different ones. Okay, cool. Uh, Physics-based steering, and there's never not enough games for the 8-bit machines for me. I enjoy your game a lot. There's one thing, though, I found very lacking variety of gameplay. It's the same wrestle every time would quickly grow old. Yeah. Therefore, to keep with the sprite of multiple games within one, like early cartridges, combat, air, sea battle, video Olympics, I would like to give you some ideas. So I'll just skip to the ideas here. Tag. Uh, one lander's flashing means he's a fugitive, the other one has to catch him. To prevent the first player from accumulating points, once a fugitive's caught, players switch roles. Points are awarded only for the escapee and proportional to the time spent running away. Uh, deadly tag, like the tag above, but the players are no longer invulnerable to the collisions of the wall. Crashing into the wall will cause a loss of fugitive status. Uh, collector, players compete to reach a randomly placed object. Say a small square, that would be good. Yeah. You have to go start collecting things for points. Deadly collector, crashing into walls kills you. The other one was not crashing into walls, fine. So you just bounce around. Cave run, players have to navigate one screen maze. Whoever reaches the end first will be awarded a point, and the map is reset with players swapping positions. So, like simple mazes that you have to navigate through yeah. with gravity and thrusting. Uh, ideas for switches, super inertia. 
Uh, landers will gain a lot of inertia, say twice as fast as the original steering. Random bounce. Landers no longer bounce off walls uh, in a predictable manner, but completely at random. Reverse gravity. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, it'd be so fun, though, man. Uh, be completely different situation. Yep. Wraparound movement. Some maps lack vertical or horizontal walls with openings in both dimensions, so you could wrap yeah. around from the top to the bottom. Or if, like, you just even, like, a random, slightly different map each time would yeah, be cool. Yeah, totally different map. Like, even built-in ones or random ones. And you can almost do, like, a maze-type thing where yep. you have to, like, somehow reach each other or, like, not die. Ooh. Damage effects. That's a good idea. So one hit will change your color to a little bit darker or lighter, and you get, like, three hits instead of just one hit. Uh, variety in Lander's graphics. Perhaps have different game modes, different lander sprites. Ch collectors could be more chunky. Tag ones be more sleek, because they're always the same graphic here. Some oh, good varieties there, but the guy didn't respond to it. Oh man! And just kind of. It's such a cool game, man. This potential is insane. Yeah. Oh, it's huge! And then if you added that var those variations in, I think this is would be a great selling. I'll be incredible. Game to to, that people would buy. Okay, let's do. Best out of three. Okay, best out of three. Yep. Oh! Because I guess when you get really good, you can get angles going. It's like, oh, if I hit you at this angle, you fly off. Damn it! Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh self-sabotage! Yeah, it's getting... Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. shit, man. No. Well, I went for it. Let's get aggressive. Let's get aggressive. Yes. Right. Okay, you won the first one. Whoa. No. Ducked. A smart move, yeah. man. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. You're learning my tricks. Oh, my God. Ref. Going for the walls, are you? Ref. I'm going for you, but... It's it's there's a it's a little more art than science this thrust situation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh God! <laughs> burm, 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 burm. Damn it! I almost got you. One more to go the for you. Mistakes. Are... Whoa! Yes. One all. One more to go. Oh, the tiebreaker. Pulled out of that. Oh yeah, get down there, get down there. No! Oh, that was a that was a war. That yeah. one. Pearl G says even having different boards would would even do it. Fuck! What the hell happened there? I was just trying to. It's a misfire. Ran out of fuel and you oh, crashed into the ground. No! Oh! Oh my God! Close. That was that I deserved to die. <laughs> I didn't deserve to live. <laughs> oh no, yeah, aggro. I had a lot of thrust there, so it was taking a risk like that. <laughs> if you don't connect and you go for oh. it, good win, man. Good work. All good right. work. Good stuff. Yeah, that has so much potential. Oh, that game. Too bad. That's I'm really smart. sad that he just never yes. came back to it. Yeah. So good. And it stuff. turned into a cat stream. We got. It did. Oh, Atari's here. He's... I think he's been looking after his brother, making I, sure he's honestly, okay. Honestly, he has. What happened if you both die at the same time on your last life? Uh, what happens if uh, I don't know? It'd be hard to do. Unmo what is it? An, uh, an unmovable object encounters a uh, fucking force that. Yeah, uh, unstoppable force. force. That's the. It's a good question. Yeah. Isn't that like Juggernaut versus the Hulk? 
Ah, oh, there's got to be some examples. <laughs> there is. There's a that does tie into uh, comic books, but For I know it's sure. Juggernaut because you can't stop him. That's once right. Once he starts going, and there's some person who doesn't get like you can't. The harder you hit them, the more resistance they give, and I think it's the Hulk. Yeah. yeah. Excellent games, excellent hosts, excellent cat. Across the board from Mr. Fix. We did it again. I love it. Um, so we had Ninja Sky. Of course, it's, it's amazing. Great game, man. It's beautiful start. Um, it's going to be an uh, instant classic like all the rest of his games. Hell yeah, He's man. such an amazing programmer. Um, Project Z. Which is so much fun. The most metal game of all time. Very for homebrew. intense. Very challenging. I didn't think it would be that oh, challenging. Oh, yeah. And I love the like... You know, I would love to know what the final boss is, what yeah. the third level we is. We just barely made it to boss two, and then it we was didn't even instant see instant death, which is crazy because we actually had some some like some things. If we I had, had some... one more life, we would have been able to see him. Yeah, but I just had one life, so I would recommend trying that one out. Yeah, and give it a go. And Jupiter Sumo, awesome but limited. Yep. Super super awesome concept, like so simplistic in its concepts, but not enough variety. Like, you could play that for a while, and we played it for a bit, but that's it. That's that's the end of the game. Even if just had random mazes or a variety of mazes, and yeah. Um, just a couple variations, which wouldn't be too bad. I think it was just a 2K game. Um, so yeah. he has lots of room. Expand it to 4K. Dude, Tari's like a baby right now. Aww. He's just a little... He was home all day yesterday by himself, and oh. he was looking for a Pixel. Yeah. He's walking around the house. If I opened a door, he would have walked in. So he's like looking in all the places. And he was like, oh, where's my brother? I, I've lost track of him. Yeah. It's amazing. Some cats don't recover from having like oh, other no. cats. It's amazing that they like each other so much. Oh, they do. They just get used to it. Like they, they spend all their time together. Oh, he's so happy. Also, another huge issue is like when dogs come in, like if a cat, oh, a dog God. is intru introduced. Yeah, that's tough. A tough go. <laughs> the cats they're very ter like both are territorial but cats yeah. are super territorial they're so much worse yeah they patrol their area multiple times does does it the foot pedal super helps it's also it's, just fun man i highly yeah. recommend just trying it out like you even could use just the to... foot pedal for this game yeah and, and it i don't know if it would help too much because it you don't need the foot pedal but, but it's, it's be fun man yeah. that's the thing it's it's a cool like addition it's just a it makes you feel like you're playing an arcade game at home which yeah. is what makes it really cool and i think it would be really good for driving games oh yeah as as the gas and you can assign one to gas and one to break like it's super flexible you can use it for non flying games you can use it for jumping or whatever yeah. probably we wouldn't but um so that's the games today thanks everybody for tuning in um let's bring up the i forgot to read out the names last episode and somebody said oh that was very abrupt <laughs> the ending <laughs> um, so i think that's what i missed doing so thanks uh for tuning in thrust mallard season i supposed to i think Mr. and Fix. what mallard just said yeah. i mean i don't know i'm no expert but i just think it just takes time it's you know what i mean yeah. i just think you you just gotta wait there's no um i did I don't know. I, I registered so long ago for the Atari Age forums. Do you get like a message back that maybe you need to respond to, and it maybe it went in your spam email? Yeah, I know some people have said they've they they have had a similar thing, and they, and they just waited, and it happened. Yeah, Remember it's that been happened like a week now for him though. Really? Oh, yeah. sorry, man. It's really weird. Um, yeah, it's been more than a week. He says. I make sure you look in your spam that you don't have to verify your email address somehow, because maybe that's on that's the first step is verifying your email. And then after that, then somebody manually approves you? I don't know. Um, I already clicked on the link. Okay. I don't know. Maybe they Sorry, don't like man. you. Are you a bad guy? Did you piss somebody hey, off? Hey, I'm in sure. A, in a, in it a was previous anyone life? who's like into mallards, man. Is... Yeah. I think there's an email address you can ping to get their attention. Yeah, maybe search for a contact email for the Atari age. Do a contact. Yeah. But sorry about that, man. That sucks. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not uh, an admin. Yeah, so we, sorry. we, we're sort of separate from it a little bit. Yeah. Although we're, you know, it's obviously a, the gathering point. But <laughs> yeah, but, it's, but we're not. We, we don't just have read any, the forums. We don't empower about charge, that, right. man. Sorry. Hopefully, uh, you get in there soon. Yeah, because he, uh, he wants to ask some questions. Oh, he did that to you. Email. Oh shit, man. Oh, uh, I don't know what to say then. Like, they're obviously aware. I don't know. Busy. I don't know. Sorry. Patience. Patience, friend. yes. Have patience. It sucks. 
Um, so thanks, Mr. Fix and Impaler, Carl G, uh, Mallard Season, Dan A V C, uh, Drexall for tuning in, yeah, watching man. it at work, Retro Happy Hour, RC Seventy. Oh, that's a new Mary person. Marion Aaron. Mario Mario, Mario Aaron. Aaron. And he says you two uh, like look like you love, love classic, classic stuff, stuff a bunch. Much. I I do. He's kind of new to all. Yeah, of this. I mean, I I like different classic things, yeah. but I mean, what's classic for me is new for you, which is just because yeah. of my age, <laughs> which is yeah. sad. I'm like, <laughs> man, remember 2005? We Whoa, were all <laughs> we, we were, were so all babies, then. right? <laughs> I'm like, no, oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I was I was I was an adult. <laughs> uh, but thank you for tuning in. I hope no no one is epileptic causing a flash. Yeah. It's true, man. Shoot the skeleton bones. Oh, yeah. well, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, who else? Uh, Arena. We've got to give us an update on how that dress went and and yeah. all that stuff. That sounds good. Like Dan. It. Who else? I think that's. I think we got. Oh, VHZC, of course, tuning yeah, in. Yeah, we made indeed. the first game, Ninjish Guy. Um, oh, Ground Trooper. Yeah, it's later, Ground man. Trooper. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. And Dan ABC <laughs> as well, <laughs> man. Milton Buddhist. Yes. And so. Milton on... Buddhist. I'm sorry, man. We. Yeah, Did of we course. Miss him? Yeah. Um, so next episode, which is on Friday, um, it's actually going to be an early episode because we have stuff to do in the evening. So it's yeah. going to be Tanya and I. It's going to be at the same time, 11 a.m. We're going to oh, do an cool. early show, which is great for people in Europe, great for everyone yeah, in general. Yeah, mixes it up. Uh, we're going to be playing Rally X, uh, Yahtzee, uh, Dominant Amber, and Isaiah's We Chase. Whoa. So four games, lots of lots of fun. And then next Wednesday... Is the big reveal. Ooh, yeah, and next Wednesday is going to be cool. John Champo's new game from Champ Games. Nobody knows what it is, but you know it's guaranteed to be awesome because everything Champ Games touches turns to gold. Hell yeah. <clears throat> so we won't know what it is until you guys do, like the same Well, second. he's given a, the, an activation code yes. for it. That's how, like... He's going to be in the IRC. Oh, he's going to be in the chat IRC. That's so old school. He's going to be in the chat... And he's going to give us the code live on the show. And we're going to see the game in the same second you guys are. And then he's going to be um, sending over instructions and it will be off to the races. So I don't even know how many games I need to schedule as well as that game. I think I might play it safe Dude, and just do two other ones. I would do two other ones. And if we don't make it to them, it's not the end of the world. Because it is an early work in progress. Maybe it's not super in-depth. You never Maybe it's know, amazing. Man. Maybe it'll be like, oh my god, this is gonna take two hours to play. My philosophy is always make sure you got a bunch of material ready to yeah. go, and if we don't get there, then we can push it to the next episode. Correct. Yeah, that will be a rare early show combination. Yeah, eleven a.m. Fridays. It is rare. And um, I'm thinking of cutting back the show to once a week Ooh. in the future. Just it's a lot of work a, for you, man. It's a lot of work. I have to do a lot of research. I have to do a lot of graphics. Um, but that won't be coming up till. Because there's projects coming up for yeah. us. Uh, we have, we have a lot of, on the go, actually. A lot of development. Um, it's crazy, because if all the stuff we're developing hits, it would almost be impossible for us to do it, but yeah. that's not how the film world works. It's not going to happen It's like going to be like maybe one or two. And we're in two. control of some of them, too. So yeah. we can hold off or do whatever. Wednesdays for the one day. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. I like playing with all the three Hell yeah. people, co-hosts. Am I going to mix it up one Wednesday one week, Friday the other week? <laughs> no, Mr. I Fix. Know. Um, so I don't know. I don't know yet. Call in sick. But the, pro the big problem is, is the prep. Yes. I can just turn it on and then that just takes two hours or an hour or something. And I might do Wednesdays are the show. Yeah. Where there's lots of prep and we go and, and get new games and play new games. And then Fridays are just a fun day. Yeah. Where I don't need to do prep. Where, like, because I've been doing Activision patch challenge, and maybe I can push that to Friday. That's a smart move, because man. Because there's, like, 40 games I need to get and through. And Tanya and, like, Darcy are, are kind of, like, kind of, yeah. Yeah. And they, and they float in and out, and they yep. can come in. Quit your job and do a zero-page homebrew series. Well, uh, uh, the donations aren't quite up yeah. to that level. Be great. I um, our our community is a little bit smaller than like Fortnite. Yeah, it's <laughs> so all good though. That'd be amazing. That'd be super keen. Uh, I think I would exhaust. Well, I mean those those gamers, they pick a game and they play it for months. Yeah. Right. Um, 
and you know there's games that we could do that for a couple streams yeah because they're long adventure games or there's lots of levels and stuff like that but tv series a tv series yeah. says i gotta find out more about these movies you do well james um's latest documentary is a perfect 14 which yeah. you can and that's in film festivals right now yeah it's coming to new york um, in early June. So if you live in New York, you can see it. And then it's coming to LA in September. Yeah. So if you live in those huge cities, which there's a very good chance some of you do. And, and I'm a director, so I direct yep. short films. I do a film every year. I've done a film every year for yeah. a long time. And James is editing the new one, which yep. has been... So that's coming out 2020 yeah i have another my last film is just in festivals right now and then i'm i'm, I'm always a, like a cycle ahead on the film which is smart um and then i'm also developing like a tv show and then i'm like writing a feature and like there's lots of jobs but all that stuff sounds cool but <laughs> some of it's for myself some of it's for other people right. and then so it's tricky it's a mixed bag. yeah you, you know uh oh do a tv series on your series <laughs> director pages one yeah uh, yeah, that's very uh, meta. <laughs> yeah, it gets it gets so interesting. But we're thinking about something. Oh yeah, there's there's something very <laughs> interesting in the works. That's kind of like that, but that's it's in the distance. Yeah, yeah. But we'll definitely keep you guys up to date because you everybody here watching this would be very interested in this project. Yeah, it's it's something so I that it, I I pitched it to James and James was like, thumbs yeah, up. And yeah, yeah. So keep keep. Oh, AVGN. I was very disappointed in his movie, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I think on also, like, our approach is going to be it's really, very different. Di really different. Like, he he took his short um, short films yeah. that he does about the video games, and he translated that same character into a bigger concept. Ours is totally, totally. different. Well, like, it's totally different. It's actually funny, because me and James are not front men, really. Like, this show is very unique in that yeah. we, we're we both on camera, but we're... Behind we're, the scenes kind we're of rarely on camera, like... Yeah. I, I don't do acting. Yeah. No, I have no done... A, I've done a lot of acting, but it's never... Be, I've never done it um, for projects. I've studied it to, so, mm. to work with actors, because... Um, when you're directing actors, you need to know what they're going through, and yeah. the only way to do that is to do it. I also um, go through that process. But I hate it. I don't like. You're on camera now. It's true. It's, we are. It's very true. But, but it's, it's not acting. It's a different. It's a different yeah. thing. This is if you know what you're talking about, like these games, and you can play them and discuss them. And, well, that's, and it's fine. It's easy. Well, this but is acting's like acting's a whole different. Yeah. Realm. Well, we're kind of just ourselves, man. I actually have been in a documentary. Have you? Two documentaries. One never got released, and one did get released. Um, it was terrible. Yeah. It, I didn't do a great job. <laughs> I actually never saw the the one that um that didn't come out, but I did film myself f being filmed. Yeah. Um. So I'll have to I'll have to dig that up. And I've been in a few movies. But that's documentary. But... That's just talking about what it's like, yeah. kind of like this. Um. I now that I think about it. I have actually acted in a few films, but that it's always been little parts. It's always because mm. I'm often doing camera and directing and writing and editing and all yeah. the crap behind the scenes. If you want to um, kind of take a take a glimpse into the world of what stuff that I've done, just go to O'Brienfilms.com. Just O B R I E N. Yeah. F I L M S dot com, O'Brien Films dot com. Yeah, and if no apostrophe. Yeah, and no if apostrophe. you Google my name, Erlen Barrett, you'll find like my <gasps> Gave Vimeo away your channel. Last name. <laughs> which has, well, you can find it pretty yeah. much pretty easily. You can find like my Vimeo channel, which I have a bunch of stuff on. And, but yeah. all my cool shit is not released because. You work so far ahead. That's the problem. Like the processes. Steven Spielberg films. No, like, um, close. That's, that's right. Close. There you go. Um, but that's a, that gives you a little bit of stuff. But like, but we definitely want to bring in like actors who are like yeah. that's their thing. Like actors. the people who are incredible in front of camera and like work with them. But so there that and that'll link you to my documentary as well. Which For sure. Award winning. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, that will be out on like uh, Amazon and iTunes and stuff like that. Probably, we're aiming for late this year. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, October, November, December kind of thing. But we'll definitely let you guys know. Yeah, and you really, might be the in show's it. just for fun. I mean, there's no yeah. way that we... I, uh, Amanda Tapping, yes. Yeah, in... Uh, I edited <laughs> you guys are actors I, I edited a PSA that had Amanda tapping in it yeah I don't really know I, I don't I, I, I didn't watch the show she's in she's in because we live in Vancouver which <laughs> we live in Vancouver where so much is produced well, yeah, like man. one third of all TV shows and movies um, like 
uh, that are um, big blockbuster kind of things are produced in TV shows. So yeah, we when we watch films, we're like, yeah, we know that street, we know that. All these people, that. and yeah. it's actually a surprisingly small community. Um, in all honesty, like it it's is. shockingly small, yeah. where you kind of at a certain point go, oh wow, I've you know everyone. Yeah, and people don't go away. Like you just you you meet someone, and so you got to be a nice person because you <laughs> yeah. just never know. Don't screw it up. Yeah, but it's 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 pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's our, that's our, that's a bit a bit <laughs> a of bit our, of background for a us. A bit of our other lives, yeah. and but I. But this but, is just, yeah. This is just for fun. It's something to do. And oh, did you guys screw up my website? Or are you screwed up? You now I have to it. look. Always got to check it no, out. Oh, look, it's fine. It is the law to be friendly. You're crazy. But you know what the thing is, man? I was thinking about this the other day. I think the heart of Canadians is truly... Yeah, it's not a secure website. There's nothing on it except text. There's nothing yeah. to be secure, so... Um, but I think the heart of Canadians, I was thinking about this the other day, is like where I'm from, Edmonton, um, it, it, there's times of the year, it's minus 40, that if someone were to slip and fall and like be on the ground yeah. and knocked out, they could die. You yes. know, like it's minus 40. And I think <laughs> that's partly like what is what it means to be Canadian. It's the fact that like you know that your neighbors, if something, if someone slips, they're going to die. And if you slip, you want to make sure there's somebody there. And I think that's why we're like a little bit more socialist, just because we recognize that there it's it's like in our hearts and in our souls to make sure that we look after other people because the stakes are very high. Like if you slip and fall in like a, a, a sunny place, it's like worst case scenario, you'll wake up. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, it, but it is, you know, and... You just freeze to death. Yeah, so it's like, you know, Alberta, we're, we're very friendly to each other because I think we recognize that, like, if you were... It doesn't take much to be on the other side, to be, you mm -hmm. know... But, you know, that's... Uh, so continuing on with things that are coming up, I did schedule Halo 2600. Ooh. Did you ever play Halo? Oh, I played tons Perfect. of Halo, man. Perfect. I scheduled that on a Wednesday because I thought you would have played Halo. I played Halo 1, 2, 3, and ODST, and I stopped at 4. Okay. <laughs> so that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so this is, that'll be on the 22nd. And then we're doing the Uno Kart special on, uh, June 19th. And then we're doing a Stella fundraiser 12-hour marathon on Sa uh, Friday the 28th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll have all the crew in here, all the hosts. And that's the 24-hour? Uh, a 12-hour. I'm not doing 24. That's crazy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, 12. <laughs> that's right. I don't know why I said Maybe 10. next time we'll do 24. But we'll and what day is that again? That's... It's a Friday the 28th. It's the last Friday in uh, June. Is that Friday the 28th? Good? Because that's a day Darcy's here, and Tanya will be here later in the day. Um, I think that's okay. Let me check. I think that might be the day I'm doing a workshop, which sucks. Let me check, though. Okay. Let me triple check. Because we can put it, like, the next, next yeah, Friday. Yeah, we'll find out right after this. Because um, that's not set in stone. It's not crazy set I, It's stone. either the 22nd and 23rd. It might even yeah. be the 29th and 30th. I just want to I just want to check in real okay. quick. It just occurred to me. Yeah. It's the only stupid. It's the only thing I have happening in May. There's two things <laughs> no, that are happening no, no, in May. That's June. That's this June. Is June. Oh, then I'm totally cool. Okay, good. We'll June is totally fine. No, yeah. June is totally cool. Yeah. Cause... I don't know why I thought that was May. I was getting ahead of myself. I <laughs> know. Uh, no, I'm not here. And oh, also we're off for a little bit. Yeah, because you're gonna the, going on um, anniversary um, to Las Vegas. Well deserved. Yeah. Twelve, eleven, something year. Eleven year. 11 year anniversary, yes, because we celebrated the 10 year <laughs> wedding page anniversary. Homebrew, the movie. Zero, Zero page homebrew, the movie, short film. Short film? Okay, we'll do a short. <laughs> we'll do a short about it. Um, so I'm going there, and then I'm going to New York right after um, for a couple weeks. This would be crazy. D DOA yeah. show in Vegas. Are you talking about DOA? No, it says do a show. Is do what a means, show. Yeah. Oh, because there's a band called DOA, a punk band from Vancouver. Do a. Do a show in Vegas. Yeah, we'll do a live show in Vegas. Come down to Vegas. Yeah. We'll do a live. Oh, I can't. Too, oh. much, too much money. Yeah. Just to throw away on, on something like that. <laughs> Not that it's, you know, also crashing oh, your anniversary would be. Not so cool. Hey, guys. What are we <laughs> doing <here>. today? <laughs> it's like, We're uh, playing some 2600 games. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. We're gonna we're gonna go hang out at the slots, right? You know, like uh, although we're gonna check out some arcades and stuff while yeah. we're in Vegas. There's some great shows there, man. Yeah, and it's, go to a punk show. As well. Fuck yeah, that's good. Yeah, 
Um, Halo is one of the coolest. Um, the first Halo story is very good. It's yeah. one of the better um, story kind of things. I mean, it's ultimately a first-person shooter, yeah. but its major movements are quite cool. Did they develop that into a TV show or a movie or anything? It they just... were trying to for ages. Yeah. Peter Jackson was connected, but they stopped because mm. it's just... But the game's really good. Yeah. Um, I recommend. I do recommend the first one um, to play it um, just, as, just as a story and game experience. I don't recommend any of the Since others. There is a movie. There is a movie? I think I think there's there was, was one that was going to be developed. Um, uh, there's all these books, these crazy tie-in books and stuff. Feature film. Oh, it's it's not out. Exactly. It's, it's been and it, it, it's works. it's been that IMDb page has existed for like ten years. <laughs> yes. So no. Uh, a Halo Four Forward into Dawn TV miniseries, 2012 onward. Yeah. Well, it'd probably be animated or something. These crazy books. My friend used to oh, read it was. all the five all the... episodes. Wow. Okay, so there was a mini series. So there was some stuff happening there. Vegas Pinball Museum. That's on our list. Yeah. Um, and the other thing about Halo is it was one of the best uh, multiplayer games that came out. We played tons and tons uh, of multiplayer. Okay. That was like me and my friends would hang out. That and was it's... the big seller for the original Xbox, wasn't it? The Correct. Halo. Yeah. And they had pistols and sniper rifles that were like, you could scope with the pistol and sniper mm. rifle, and they were very overpowered. So in the first game, you would, uh, and you could drive vehicles, which is a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah. So it was, it was, it so was, there's a driver and then somebody exactly. in the back. And yeah. you, there was, and so it has a really good story mode, and it, but it's got a great online multiplayer mode. A lot of the early, um, for example, um, uh, Ninja who uh, is like the number oh, one yeah, streamer. Yeah, streamer he started as a halo streamer oh. and that's how he 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 began and his career and I think he was a top halo player I think he won a bunch of awards for mm. it and then transitioned into oh, okay. some people came from Call of Duty but really it was for ages the two number one um, first person shooters from multiplayer was Call of Duty and Halo and Halo okay. had shields which was the big difference. Oh, so it was a slower... That is unusual. Yeah, it was a slower-paced game yeah. versus a Call of Duty, there's no shield, so it's a bit faster. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will definitely check out the Vegas Pinball Museum, Mr. Fix. Thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, it is already on our list, but I'll make it... Bump yeah. it up the priority. Yeah. And, and Halo 2 was a huge game. Um, that was probably one of the most popular, biggest games and tons of online stuff. Mm. Yeah, and Halo 2600 is a 2600 game by, made by the Microsoft guy who worked on Halo. But so it's Halo. like an it's an official That's Halo badass. game. That's badass. Thanks real for letting us know that. I suppose that. I mean, amazing. we'll talk about that when, when the show yeah. comes up. So thanks for hanging out today. Yeah, and I can spew some Halo sh more stuff when Perfect. we do the show. I'll, oh, I'll, excellent. I'll do yeah, some background. history with Halo, how it relates to what we're seeing on the screen. Totally, man. I did. Um, so we'll be back on Friday, 11 a.m., remember. That's Pacific right. time, 2 p.m., Eastern, 7 p.m., GMT. So make sure it, it is in the schedule on the forums. And if you, you know, you can be reminded by Twitch as well. Yeah, There's man. little clicks for reminders. So it's in the upcoming event. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> so much is tolerated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Can't wait for Tiki Dan K. Yes, and his games are coming out too at some point. I've got an interview still in the can. Yeah. Ready to be released. And also his Gold Rush game coming up which he's still working on, perfecting it, so it's all awesome for you guys wow. when we um, show it off. Yep. So Thrust will be there. Awesome. So I'll see you guys on Friday, and you'll see this dude next Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. Say bye-bye.